All right, so you're an adventurer or like maybe even a group of adventurers, whatever. Doesn't matter why you're here. No one cares. Don't tell me your backstory. We're just here to kick ass and find treasure. That's your motivation, okay? Are you ready to roll? Go ahead and introduce yourselves. I'm so guard. I'll be playing bird person, Kenku Bard. I am Sho, and I'm going to be playing Lyanna <laughs> Barantia. Yeah. I am Tomato. I'm going to be playing Kier Braven. Braven? Braven. Braven. And I, and I have a badass mustache. Hi, I'm Lelby, and I am playing Ari Strongbow. And I'm just here to have fun. Hello, my name is Supa. I'm playing Keith Silverson, also known as Morty. All right. In front of you is a dark staircase. It's like mysterious and shadows and all that stuff. And when I say, like, it's, it's shadows, it's like trying to draw you in. And I mean, like, you need to go down the stairs or, like, there's not a lot of purpose for you being around here. So, like, are you going down? Go down the stairs. Yes, go down the stairs. I'm not sure I trust you when you say there's nothing around here. But sure. Are you just trudge? Are you just running down the stairs? Are you trying to like creep and scope and go down the stairs? I'm gonna go down the stairs very slowly, slow enough that I annoy the people behind me. Can I like look around as I'm following behind my daughter? Yeah, like, give me uh, a little bit back. Give me a perception check. The perception? Ooh, mm -hmm. I'm efficient. Okay, 12 plus 5. So, does that math be hard? 17? 12 plus 5, 17. So, as you all are creeping down the stairs, not necessarily because of your own volition, but just because Ari is going way too slow and you have to go slow behind her, mm -hmm. you come to a dark room that smells like a pet store. It's like wood chips and warm poop down here and Ooh. it's a bunch of black bats flapping around and they look harmless but to you lion you notice that they're not actually bats they're actually sturges and they're not harmless Can what I, do you do want to do do i have time to kind of subtly warm my team my mm -hmm. party because you crept down they have not seen you yet okay i'm gonna i'm gonna put a hand on um, Ari's shoulder to try to hold her back and say, careful, there's something ahead and they don't look friendly. So Ari, you've been warned that they don't look friendly. They have not, they have not seen you yet. What do you want to do? Okay. There's, there's like five of them. Okay, can I uh, shuffle a little back and just wait for everyone to catch up with me? I don't want to attack on my own. They're, all of you are downstairs now. Okay, perfect. So I'm just going to turn to Leanne because she knows what's happening and I'm going to ask, uh, what are they and what should I do? I'm not exactly sure what they are, but uh, I say we attack them. All right. Then um, I'm going to attack. Roll initiative. Are you wanting everybody to roll yeah. initiative? Yep. She's attacking. <laughs> I wanted to make sure. So, Bob, that I don't know if you know. That no, I know. 20. Uh, a regular 20. Um, it's a regular 20. Yep. Uh, I got Hi. a big old 2. Mm, this is not good for you guys, because I wrote kind of good. <laughs> I got a 20. Oh, wait, hold I on. Well, I got 20. Got 23. Yeah, 23. No, she, she got a 20. Oh, mm -hmm. She wrote a 17 okay. plus 3. 30, 20, first one of the day. Ooh, you're 20 so dirty. I don't have dice of my own. You can roll on, if you click uh, initiative on D&D um, &D Beyond, mm -hmm. it'll roll for you. Well, I rolled in the game, but I can roll on D&D &D Beyond if you'd rather. No, I, I know yours is plus two, so you also have a dirty 20. So Bob, I can see all your sheets. Bob, the um, extension that nope. I installed on your computer earlier 19. will allow you to roll from your D&D &D Beyond and puts it into the chat for dabs. Okay. Um, what um, what did you get, Sean? Two. Listen, I, totally. I saw... Yeah. Um, I saw the bad guys. I did good so far. Um, yeah. But mom... 
<laughs> I'm not. I'm not laughing at you. I'm. I'm laughing. Um, at well, you. I'm, la I'm Wait, laughing yeah. at me. <laughs> I get a seventeen the first roll, and then a two the second roll. <laughs> uh, um, Ari, you go first. And if if you could, when you're attacking, um, yeah. I labeled them. So if you could tell me if you're attacking Fee Five Four or Fum, or Dan, then that will be very helpful. How can we tell that? Can you not see their names? No, no we see no nope. the pictures of them, but not names. I've named so many things. Oh, show. Now, can you see um, P? No. No. I'm a ping them. This is Fee. This is Fo. Fi. Fo. Fum. Dan. I'll figure out later why you can't see all the names. I don't know what you did, but now my screen is black. Blop. Are you in the bottom there right of the map? Bottom left. Yeah, I was there and I couldn't see anything for a second. Sorry, bottom left. Sorry. Yeah. Can you uh, see again? I'm going to attack. Um, fee, I guess. So, on your sheet, you can uh, do any of your attacks under the actions if you want. The, the, the room is small enough that if you want, you can walk up and use your longsword, or you can use your bow. You cannot move up to them. It's up to you. I want to use my bow. Fine. Don't get close to them. <laughs> Listen, uh, I uh, want to survive the first room. Um, on your sheet, so that you can do the mm -hmm. chat. You see where it says plus four or plus yes. seven? I mean, click that so you can roll that attack. Oh, nice. Okay, I mean, well, that hits. Calm down. Question. Nick, I'm sorry, I saw my mom did terrible, and like, I didn't want us to die. Well, Fee's gone. Thanks a lot. <laughs> yes. So you you cock your bow back after your after Leanne says, "Hey, they're not friendly," and shoot a bow, and it goes piercing right through uh, the eyes of Fee. And he goes <laughs> and falls to the ground, and the rest of them get really round up. You oh no have now aggravated them. Um, Kier. Apologies. Finishing back. Jeez. You're fine. Um, we're just moving into attack deal. Mm -hmm. Can I use Ray of Frost on mm. Bo? Yeah. Bo's my favorite. <laughs> and it's a natural one. I am so proud Yay. of you. Yeah. So that happened. <laughs> Kerr, like the big idiot he is, tries to do Ray of Frost. <laughs> um, and it bounces off the wall and actually kind of grazes his own ear. Fuck yeah. Oh. Gary, Be better. Um, Keith, it's your turn. Um, are we all attacking? Do I have to attack? You don't have to attack. You don't have to do anything. So can I, like, try to capture one? Yeah. Oh. Give me, uh, give me a dex check. All right. If you beat their armor class, I'll say you catch one. I I just roll the dex, right? Yeah. Um. You can eat if you're just. Um. I'm gonna give you options. If you want to just do it straight, like I'm just trying to swing at it, just <laughs> hit the thing that says dex. If you want to do it looking cool, you can do acrobatics. <laughs> Ooh, where's that? Oh, I just rolled on accident. It's the your decks and your acrobatics is the same because you're proficient in it. But I mean, if you roll acrobatics and hit it, then I'll let you like do a backflip and catch one. So, Supa, do you see? Oh, you got it. There you go. Oh, yep. I think that might beat their class. Yeah, I think so. Um, you also a hundred percent uh caught one. Which one Let's do you want to catch? Woohoo! Dan, catch Dan. Everybody loves Dan. Dan is awesome. Uh, I can't see any names. Doesn't matter. The bottom one's Dan. This one's Dan. 
default, then yes. That's what I'm capturing. You pull out your bag, do a a, a weird kind of half um, flip, half kind of roll tumble past uh, Lyanne, come up behind Dan, whisper in his ear, you're mine now. Capture him and then roll back behind Lyanne. <laughs> Can I like cheer on exactly my son what as I wanted this goes to do. down? <laughs> like, can I just cheer yeah. for him because I'm yeah. not able to do anything else right now? Yeah, Dan is yours now. <laughs> That's my son. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Dan is is completely confused. He's like, "What the hell?" <laughs> um. Now I get to attack you all, which is fun times for me. So, um, Fee is going to attack Ari. Foe is going to attack Birdman, and Fum is going to attack Ryan because you're in the front. I feel like this is yeah. not nice. Um, I mean, it's not nice. And also, it doesn't matter because I wrote two nat ones and a five. So, um, And my armor class is an 18. Yeah, I know. I know. Wow. <laughs> they try to come in and actually uh, drain your blood. But as their little uh, no noses click off your armor, they kind of the two Aww. that got nat ones, which is against uh, Ari and Lyanne, they kind of bend down, and now they're bent to the point where they can't stick out anymore. It's very it's sad. Up. I'm I'm so mad. I just wrote you now. <laughs> I wanted to drain blood so bad. That, that nibbling on my arm looked very cute. <laughs> It, it it actually looked like like a uh, a bird actually coming by you. It didn't look scary at all, and you kind of actually feel sad for it now. So think about that as you continue to kill them. Bird person is your turn. Bird person will cast vicious mockery on Fum. Okay. Uh, it's a wisdom save, DC yep. thirteen. Don't worry, they're all very. I wrote another net one. Right. Um, this dice is gone. To the jail it goes. I, I threw it. I have no idea where it went. <laughs> it wrote it. That's a one that wrote a net one the first. Time. It's gone. Um. <laughs> so uh, he fails. Um. Uh, it's just one psychic damage. As <laughs> as as you do the psychic da- damage at him, he just goes. Oh, because he's also has he's had his his beak bent. Now you're like doing psychic damage to him. He he looks very depressed, and you also feel bad for harming him. This is uh, depressing. Uh, that'll be it for me. <laughs> Lion is your turn. They're they're bad. Lion already <laughs> clocked them as bad. They're just trying to make you feel bad now. It's a it's a psychic tap. <laughs> you said that working. You said one like bent its beak on. When it on my armor, right? So it's like probably near me. Yeah, uh, this one's near you. Okay, I want to. I want to go ahead and smash it over the head with my mace. Okay. Gonna. I'm gonna yeah. be like all. I'm gonna be all fancy, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna do a little bit of a circle up in the air with my mace, and I'm gonna like smash it down on on its head. And that is for. Uh, 14 plus 4, does 18 hit? Yes. Okay. So that is... Stop, stop killing my boys. They're such good boys. 5 bludgeoning damage? If as, I as get he's... covered in blood because of this, I'm gonna be very upset. <laughs> Don't worry, as... I'll pay for your dry cleaning, dear. He's floating by you, you. with his, his bent beak, <laughs> looking at you with the saddest of eyes. And as you swing at him, he goes, why? And he just poofs in the dust. <laughs> Do you feel good about yourself? I feel pretty strong right now. Yeah. <laughs> We're killing Ben's family and he's watching. I mean, I'm just a little cleric. I didn't think I'd be able to do that. <laughs> Ari, down, these are just really <laughs> shitty enemies. <laughs> yeah. Um, that Ar- ends my have- turn. Ari, it's your turn. <laughs> I need another dice back to that one. Oh. <laughs> um, can I just bat mine away with um, an unarmed strike? Mm-hmm. You try to swing at him, 
and he kind of does like a zigzag maneuver, still with his bent, his beak bent. Like, why are you trying to hurt me? I'm not. Fly away, little buddy. Go. But Dan. <laughs> now he's on this side of you as well. <laughs> Kier is your turn hey. again. <laughs> Oh, I forgot my name was Kier. <laughs> <laughs> what are the names of the ones we have still allowed or like here alive? Fump, technically, you can also attack Dan. Dan is in Morty's pocket or in, um, don't Keith, you Keith's dare. Pocket. Don't you dare. <laughs> Fum is by Birdman or Bird Person and Foe is by Ari. Also, Birdman, a uh, bird person attack foe. Do you really want it? He's already got a bit beat <laughs> and he's been attacked. I'm going to uh, take out my quarter staff and try to attack the one there by bird person. <laughs> that one, I hit bird person. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I was thinking about it. <laughs> uh, you try to swing at the one by bird person and it, it jukes back like this, then jukes back forward and comes and is directly by you now. Just buzzing over your head. That tracks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Keith is you. All right. I will... Foe is the bent beak, yes? Yep. All right. It's time to take Foe out of his misery. No! I'm attacking Foe. Um... With a dagger. a dagger. Okay. Yep. Um, yep. Dagger. So you can click. Ooh, yeah, you fancy. Can click He's a fancy boy. Click the plus four. The pl Oh, okay. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. Uh, you tried to. <laughs> <laughs> they were getting so whooped, and now it's my chance to shine. Um, you try to swing at foe, and he. Once again, dodges, and now he's back on this side of Ari, and he just looks at you, and you see like a single tear come down his eye as he looks in your pocket at where Dan is. Oh God! I can't believe you're trying to. I can't believe you're trying to kill these people. You're being very disrespectful and rude. Um, I'm not saying that you're a monster, but it's it's starting to look like it. <laughs> so now they're going to try to attack you all. Yes. Um. I one of them I'm pretty sure it still sucks because uh it's me. But does uh does a eleven hit I, eleven doesn't hit you, Jerry, does it? No, um so I, don't think so I yeah, so um you see your armor class is by where you have your initiative button. So you have a twelve, so eleven doesn't hit you. Okay. Um, yeah, no, obviously. They sucked. <laughs> but um foe leaves Ari side because um uh, Someone just Ow. tried to swing a dagger and also has his buddy in his pocket. So does a 19 hit you, Keith? Yes, I'm at 13, so. Yeah, I know. I just, I just want you to say it. <laughs> you just wanted you okay. to admit it. <laughs> I have your brother in my pocket. <laughs> you hold Morty up as a beach shield. <laughs> you will give him back. You suck, bites down you, and suck some of your blood out. You take six points of damage. Holy crap! Six. Yeah. This hit. <laughs> Even this game knows that Morty sucks. How much uh, <laughs> hit points do you have, Keith? How much he has left, or how much he has now? <laughs> well, what did he start with? <laughs> Nine. Oh, so Nine. he's got three left. <laughs> If oh uh, if you if you want to help you uh, keep track, if you put in six and then um, next to your hit points and then click damage, it'll reduce your sheet for you. I thought you were about to tell them how to subtract <laughs> from nine to six. Damage, bang. Okay. And as as it sucks your blood out, it licks its lips. <laughs> Motherfucker. Have you ever tried to suck while also licking? Thank you. <laughs> Well, he he sucks. And he's like, and he goes, mm, and he just and he, he licked out. Looks you dead in his eye as he licks his lip too. It's very creepy, and you don't like it. He went from looking like he was gonna cry to now licking his 
the blood, your blood off his lips right in front of your face. Now you're realizing Lion was correct when she said, they're not nice. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time to kill them all. <laughs> Bird person is you. But like, that was also cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for you, Ari, he's still the most cute person in this room. <laughs> I can change him. <laughs> Wow. He's not heard, beyond repair. If I've heard that <laughs> phrase too much, I can fix him. Uh, I can fix him, Mom. I don't like that one of them is attacked Keith. I will say, what do you call a decapitated centaur, a headless horseman, and Catfish Mockery on the one that just attacked Keith? Okay, well, I mean, that dice did better this time, but still bad. Uh, he rolled a uh, three minus one, so that's a two. Yay! Did two beat you? Did a two beat you? No, it's okay. 13. Yeah, I know. A two shouldn't beat anything because it's a two. Because uh, it's a two. So as as you start to say, what do you call a a, a decapitated centaur? He turns to you like, what are you even? And you say a headless horseman, and he, and you just see him trying to think like, what's that? Did you just tell me a dad joke? And then he just explodes. His brain explodes. No. <laughs> Goodbye. Ari, as Fo goes away, right before his brain, brain explodes, he turns and looks you dead in the eye like, why? And that's when he, he's, no. he's looking at you as his brain explodes. No. <laughs> they know I'm the weakest thing. <laughs> Um, Lion, it's your turn. Um, what's the one that's over by Kai Kier? By Fum. Kier? Okay, I'm gonna look at Fum and say, the only one that can bully my husband is me, and I'm gonna I'm gonna try to intimidate him to like go away. I'm not gonna attack. I'm just gonna I'm gonna intimidate him. Look him um, right in the eyes. Make him want to run away. Give Give me because. As much as I was talking to them, they're not smart at all. So give me a DC, uh, let's say eight, intimidation check. Uh, nineteen plus three. Um, he he looks at you. He pees a little on uh, <laughs> Kier's shoulder as he gets scared. Oh come um, on! <laughs> oh, and ew! He, and he flies up the stairs that you all came down. That's what you get, Jerry. <laughs> Uh, Just they're all, dry clean. They're they're all gone. Um, outside of Dan, who is tamed inside uh, Keith's pocket, um, for use for whenever you just want to pull him out. Yeah, he, he's my now, little he's, precious. He's now like, oh, this pocket is warm. I actually kind of like it in here. Oh, is that a candy bar? I think I like this guy. I think it's pretty important. Yeah. Front pocket or back pocket? He is in. You don't want to know that. Why do you ask that? <laughs> don't worry about my questions. That's between them. <laughs> nah, that's between them. Like, why do you need to know? If you would like to know, he's in a front pocket. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Always on the ready. Um, so they're they're all gone. The room still <laughs> smells completely bad. Like, literally, if, have you ever been um through the countryside when there's like horses around? Yes. Think of Hell think of yeah. that, but like like ten times worse. Yeah, Ugh. Kier won't be able to breathe. He's allergic to horses. It's it's, it's like it's it's so bad in here that all of you, except for Kier, because he's too stupid to hold your breath so that you don't pass out from from like the smell. But Kier just keeps breathing it in because for some reason he refuses to clog his nose up. I don't know why he just is doing that. Do you want to do yeah. anything in this room? You also see you I also have... see this door over here, but you can, can look, look around. around in this yeah, give me a perception check. It should kind of yeah. There you go. Okay. Um. So you start looking around. You're like smushing around in your hand, and you find um thirty five pieces of silver just scattered around the room. Oh. So now you have you have thirty five extra pieces of silver. If you go to your inventory um page. I don't know if this mm-hmm. changes this way. And you see at the top of the house is the 10 gold. Yeah. If you click that, you can go to where it says SP, put in 35, and then click add, and it'll add 35 silver pieces for you. 
Nice. If if you want to keep you. it all, you could split it, but technically you found it, and I'm not going to make you share. No, I'm keeping it. Kira's going to um, complain saying that you're my daughter and that it's play. <laughs> Um, yes. give, give give me a perception he check has, to see if you has, even has found been. that she found it. Sorry, say that again. <laughs> give me a perception check to see if you even see that she found it. Uh, where is perception? perception. And um, Plus Ari, three. roll roll a, a stealth check or a sleight of hand to see if you can get away with picking it up without anyone seeing it. Okay. Uh -huh. No. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah he, you just see she's just stuffing it in her in her. A pocket. No matter which, unless you also roll in that one, yeah, you just see her stuff in her pocket. You also see that she accidentally, as she's trying to rush and put it in her pocket, she a hundred percent picks up some of the poo and put it in her pocket. Oh, so, so Ari, just so you know, because Ari, you you smell like Sturge poo, and you will have a disadvantage on uh, charisma checks and charisma saving throws until you wash it off. That's fucking gross, okay. Ari. But if anyone wants part of my money, they have to take some of the poop too. So, like, think about that. How did you, get, a, money. How did you get a four and you're still going to keep all your money? <laughs> well, we know who's paying for things now. I mean, yeah. I am I'm saying if you want it, you have to take the poop. Like, That'll that's be how five works. gold pieces. Come here, let poopy me, fingers. <laughs> let me write down that you have poop on you real quick. Can I, like, while this is Ooh. happening, just, like, kind of plug my nose and... Just wave my other hand in front of my face, like I don't want to be near yeah. my daughter right now. I, I just I have on my nose, nose Ari poopy. I ha I say to my <laughs> daughter with my my nose plugged. Um, I think you need to take a shower. Does anybody else want to do anything in the poop filled room? You want to go to the door? <laughs> Let me get the fuck out of the poop filled room. Yeah, I'm. I want out. Yeah. Okay. I have uh, my trophy. Let's leave. Up the poop Every... is coming with us, guys. We're yeah. not safe. <laughs> can we she lock Ari off? in the room? You can try. <laughs> uh, you can everyone, try. Give me, everyone give me a perception check. Okay, calm down. I have so my rolls are really slow, just so you know. Oh, you're fine. Mm, makes sense. Makes sense if you got a 7. I got a 22. <laughs> Well, I'm well, really I, good at noticing I made, things. I made the, I made, I'm, I'm not saying because Jerry's everything. stupid. I'm saying because I said that he's still smelling the poop, that he would be concentrating on the poop. It makes it fits into my storyline. So all of you, except for Kier, as you're approaching the leaving room and come toward this door, um, let me just check the language. Um, all of you hear something, but are, um, Ari, you're the only one that distinctly hears the words. You all hear like kind of arguing in the next room. But you can't make out what they're saying. Mm -hmm. Ari, who speaks Goblin, um, knows that there are what sounds like two goblins in the other room talking about how their friend Jerry is a useless jerk. Ouch. Oh. <clears throat> oh, don't worry. Your name's not Jerry. It's Cure. They're talking about Jerry. I still they say hate Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> and also, you don't hear it because you wrote a seven. I didn't hear shit. <laughs> Do you want to go in a room? <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn to my mom and tell her there's someone in the other room, and I think they're fighting or they're arguing. I'm I'm sure there. I don't is, know how many they are. I think I'm sure there is, sweetheart. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna turn towards Keith and try to encourage him to switch spots with me, um, so I can get away from the poop smelling daughter with that's in front of me. Um, also, you all can move your tokens now that you can see them on the map. Let me give Dan to um, Keith so that you can also move him. Um, so if you want to switch your positions now, you can touch yourself. Oh, yeah? And move yourself around. Yeah, and move yourself around. Interesting. And, and Keith, Not you can also move, you can move Dan now. Turn himself into a corner. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry's just going to go hide in this corner. Here. And, like, apparently touch uh, myself. And in order to like grab yourself, Ew. the arrow at the top left that says select will let you um, actually like pick yourself up like this. Is my son going to be nice and switch spots with me? I don't know if I want to be next to my poopy sister. We can all just avoid her. I mean, we could. You could, you could just shove her into the next Yeah. Room. Why don't we just like, shove her into so the poo and run? Right now. 
You oh, I did try to keep oh, the money for the wrong people. You tried to keep right. the money for yourself, and then you got poop on She didn't try. She has it. I didn't try. I succeeded. Absolutely. <laughs> You're more than welcome to with... try to slide and hand some sure. money out of her pocket if you really want. No, I'm good. I just yeah, got you manicure. Can try. I just got a manicure. <laughs> I'm good. Okay, well, since nobody loves me, I I guess I'll go into the next room. <laughs> on my <laughs> own. I'll go. I mean, we're following you just a little bit further behind. <laughs> As you come into the Oop. room... <sighs> You can move yourself forward into the room. Um, you come around and you see a room. The room has a small wooden table and a couple of stools. And you see two goblins in there hanging out, looking pretty bored. Maybe they'd be less bored if they like got into a left of death struggle with some adventures. I don't know. You do notice that one of them has an eye patch. And um, as, she's, as she's yelling to the other one, uh, She's calling him um, I, and he's yelling back, calling her Leg. So her name is Leg, and his name is I. And they're just like talking about, I'm just saying Leg. Like, Jerry is absolutely the worst. He's the worst person I've ever met in my life. He does absolutely nothing. Um, like, if dumb were dumb, he would still be dumber, and I can't believe it. And they're just going, they're not, Can they I haven't noticed that you came into the room. Can I talk to them? Mm hmm You speak goblin. You absolutely can talk to them. Nice. So I want to talk to I. What do you say? And I'm going to ask, what's this about that Jerry guy you're talking about? Who told you about Jerry? Roll initiative. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you guys let me be in front? I'm getting into so much trouble. Are we all rolling I mean, initiative? Yes. What's wrong with that? Okay. Oof. Ooh. Ooh. They're they're literally like one of those people that are like we can talk about our friends. Don't you dare mention our friends' name. <laughs> um, I got a three. What? Throw that dice away. Oh, I this feel bad. This is better. the dice that's been that's been giving me good attacks in like my other rolls though. I don't need good initiative. I can still kick ass. I want to save the best moves for last. Sure. You got three total? Yeah, I don't have any initiative points. <laughs> I got plus zero. That's me with intelligence. Kieran is fine. Listen, Maybe. I know where my strengths are, and it's not rolling initiative. <laughs> All right, they roll. They, they keep... They keep falling like directly behind three of you. I'm not saying it's always the same order, but three of you are clearly better than the enemies, and two of you. Um, you just think about that, you know, when you get go to and stuff to split that three of you are pulling like heavy low in this, and two of you are not. So, Ari, you go first again. Um, I is the one that that yelled at you and said, "Who who told you about Jerry?" And this is I. The bottom right. So line. do I have to? Do I have to attack? No, you can try to persuade them that you mean no harm. If you, unless you mean them harm, then that would be a deception check. Do you actually not uh, mean to harm them? I do not mean any harm. I'm just here for the gossip. Can I do a persuasion check? Yep. Considering that I have poop in my pants, so my charisma is. You you lower. roll it twice. You roll no. You roll it twice, yeah. and I'm taking the low. Well, you got in that one. So you don't even need to roll a second time. Yeah. I doubt you can get less. No. <laughs> no, no, no. It's the poop in my pants. You're like, I mean, you know, harm. I'm like, shut up, shitty pants. <laughs> is that? I, I, well, I, that's I, me. Is that all you want to do? I will. I will say that that's your. I, I will let that be your in, um, your item interaction if you want to do something else. Now that he called you shitty pants. Uh, now that he called me in shitty pants, um, I'm gonna attack him with my hand axe. Because. So, roll to try to attack him. They're, they're slightly stronger than Sturgis, so, you know, watch out. They could get you. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> you. <laughs> you say, I don't mean you any harm. He says, shut up. Try to swing at him. And he moves back and you're like, man, this idiot is worse than Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> And Leg just starts laughing, like, 
uh like one of those high pitched giggles of like uh you ever see in in movies when um a girl is trying to be like, Oh, I like you and she has that high pitched giggle, that's what she's doing right now. Does she like I? Possibly. Um, Keith, it's your nice. turn. You're also in the back in the corner, so you, <laughs> can you I should act be able like to get I'm in the room. Chilling in the shadows. Just yeah, you can, act, go you, down. can act, you can act, absolutely do anything. You could just be back there maniacally laughing, talking to Dan. Yeah, yep. <laughs> I'm gonna just sit back here in the shadows with a little evil laugh, as nobody can hear me. Maniacal laugh. Maniacal if you laugh. stop. <laughs> Here is your turn. You still, you still have no. Well, actually, you're in the room now. You and you speak goblin, so you absolutely hear them saying to Ari, "Shut up, sh- uh, shut up, shitty pants." Wait, I do your, speak goblin. Yeah, you speak goblin. Only two of you speak goblin. I, ch- I just checked your sheets real quick. You speak goblin. So why did I not hear anything when I came in? Um, when you were before you guys away? opened the you door. Rolled. Yeah, before you guys opened the door, you didn't roll to hear through the door. That's the only reason you didn't hear uh, that. Oh, okay. So now you hear them saying, Jerry's the worst. Jerry sucks. You're worse than Jerry. But you know, but you you, it doesn't matter to you Jerry. because you're cure. You're, you're cure. You don't care about Jerry. Exactly. I still care about Jerry. Um, I How much? You care about Jerry more than about me, who just got yes. called shady pants? Uh-huh. <laughs> Uh, but this is the, this is the one that's saying it. I is the one that's saying it. And he's he, he's he's like still pointing at her, saying, "You're worse than Jerry. You're worse than Jerry." And you said that was the <laughs> one at the bottom, right? Yep. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna cast Mage Hand. And I'm gonna send it over to I and just slap him in the face and make sure that he knows that it's wrong to make fun of people. Um. Roll a uh, an arm attack to see if your mage hand can actually hit. Where is that? Um, it it says unarmed strike and it's the plus two. Okay, unarmed uh, strike. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> yeah, um, slapping with that bitch ass mage hand. Uh, roll <laughs> roll the damage. Nobody should come to carry in front of you. <laughs> Sorry, what about damage? Oh, actually, it's just the one. So, uh, because you don't have a modifier. So, you's like, hey, stop talking about Jerry. And you, you see the match over and slap him. And he looks back at you like, what in the. And you just see, like, his eyes go even more red. Um, just the one, uh, uh, just one of his eyes go more red. The other eye is still kind of like peeking to the right to see if, uh, leg. Thinks he's less cool because he just got slapped in the face by a magical hand. I definitely think he's less cool. I just want to make sure that that's clear. Roll an insight to see if she thinks he's less cool. Me? Yeah. Uh, insight. Where the fuck is insight? If it helps, the skills are alphabetical. Um. She she kind of it has stopped giggling. At at his antics now, and kind of looks at you like, okay, you think leg has the hots for you now? <laughs> Damn. Get it, Kurt. <laughs> one of us gets a fucking schmiegel in his pocket, and the other one gets <laughs> going to try to work on getting a goblin friend, <laughs> goblin mate. Um, Jerry, you just embarrassed him in front of uh his his girl, so he's going to step forward. Oh. Did you just call me Jerry? Um, so he's going to step forward, it completely ignore Ari, um, pull out a short bowl, and try to shoot you. Does a fifteen hit? That definitely hits. You take four points of damage. Well, shit. I'm <laughs> just sitting there like, yeah, yeah. Uh, think, think about that next time you tr- you try to. Uh, um, um, slap somebody. You're dumb. I'm gonna kill that asshole. Um, leg steps forward. Kind Does of she tries start to, fighting for us now. Kind of start. She's not gonna attack you. Um, really? <laughs> she thinks you're hot, but she still thinks somebody's a, a shitty poo. Um, 
I mean, and she's she going to attack me. Uh huh. She's she's going to try to take a swing at you, but you're also like the strongest person here, so we'll see. Does a fourteen hit you? Nope. Uh, I shouldn't. I shouldn't have did that. I, I I couldn't remember your armor class, and I thought you are thirteen, and I wanted to roll damage, and I actually rolled I didn't hit you. <laughs> and so she she swings at you, gets distracted by the poop. That's that's completely you're covered in poop. So much poop is just leaking out your pocket now. Because it's just the gold was soaked in it. Like <laughs> you might need to change your pants. It looks like you actually shit yourself. That's how much I might have, to be honest. <laughs> that's how much poop is around you right now. That if if people didn't know you picked up the shit goat, they would think you just shit your pants. And she's so distracted by that that she swings at you. Um, she just completely whiffs. Um, third person, it's your turn. You see that I is shot at Jerry, or at Kerr, and Leg has uh, swiped at Ari. Okay. Uh, I will cast a Vicious Mockery at I, who's right in front of me. Well, right in front of Ari. Uh, a road, uh, and you said it's Wisdom? Yep. Wisdom 13. 15. They make it. Okay, then nothing happens. Um, bonus action, I will give Bardic Inspiration to Kier and say, show them what a real Jerry can do. Spring Break, I believe in you. <laughs> <laughs> Lion, it's your turn. Um, is, you uh... still have no idea what they're saying. You just see that uh, they're still speaking a language you can't hear, but you hear uh, Jerry say, hey, stop or curious, like, stop talking about Jerry like that and slap one. And so you're like, oh, I think I know what they're saying. <laughs> um, is Keith still the one that's injured the most? Yeah. Can I cast cure, like, go towards him and cast cure wounds on him? Mm hmm. Nine? Mm hmm. You're back to full, Keith. Hey. Hey. So you can do the opposite. You can, put, you. you can put six and just hit heal, and I'll put you back. Thank up. you, mother. Anything for you, my favorite child. I will she, share she my whispered, pet with you one day. She whispers I mean, that I in just his ear. Like, Do you whisper? <laughs> yeah, I whisper that in his ear. <laughs> just blatantly as, as Ari's up there getting slapped around. Yeah. Well, he doesn't smell like poop. What can I say? Yeah. Ari, is your turn again. Or did you want to do anything else, uh, Lion? No, that's going to end my turn. Okay. Ari, is your turn again. Um, Leg has just tried I, to swipe at you. I don't care about Leg. I'm gonna go after the one that called me shitty pants again. Okay, so that's I. <laughs> um, I'll try the hand axe again. It failed me once. Why would it fail again? Oh, everyone knows you can't fail twice in a row. Just ask that dice I threw. Nice. Oh, that, that hits. Uh, so you with, like, the most uh, guttural instinct you can you go I'm not shitty pants you swing at uh, I and you, you slash him and um, uh, give me a perception check um, you don't know how bad he's hurt but you do know he looks fucked up now like almost like you pro potentially took like half his health oh and he and he's not looking good. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> and he's like, God, you guys can't take a joke. Fucking losers. Um, Keith, it's your Maybe turn you're again. you're dying. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> he's in there like blood dripping. I was like, like fucking loser. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, leg is the one that hit. Leg, leg missed. My mother. No, leg hasn't touched anybody. I is the only one that has done any damage to anyone. It's also okay, the only one well. any of you have beat up. Because <laughs> leg it's is so just close. fine. Yeah, leg's just chilling. You know. I mean, leg is kind of gonna start flirting with care any moment now. So we no, should just already, let that she's happen. She's already started. She's like, <laughs> as she was even swiping at you. That's also probably why she kind of like doing googly eyes at at care. You think that she has no loyalty whatsoever. She's the strongest. 
as I sit here and watch I attack everybody, I'm going to pull out my short bow and attack them. I mean, you could not stay in the corner. Nah, I'm attacking. Okay. You can't okay. let everybody get hit while I just sit here in the corner playing with Dan. Okay, roll oh. damage. You hit. Who is he hitting? Leg or eye right now? He's hitting an eye. Okay, that's calm down. Um, so, as as you say, I want to get in this fight. You pull back your short bow to shoot at I. Right as as your bow is crossing over bird person, over here, and coming like beneath like the outstretched arm of Ari as she just swung at I. That's when he, he's saying, you're still a fucking loop. <clears throat> And you just pierce him <laughs> directly <laughs> in the chest. <laughs> he falls down dead. <laughs> yeah, take that eye. How does leg react? Damn eye. Um, as as she sees, which also I assume you're here now, so that you can see. Um, as she sees around the corner, she like peeks to see who did that. She can see. Karen knows that he didn't do it. She peeks and sees. Uh. Keith back there with his bow still outstretched. She goes, mm. and now she's totally making googly eyes at, at Keith. I feel like hey. leg just really didn't like I. She, I told you, she just likes whoever's the strongest, and he did more damage than you. Oh, uh, okay, all right. <laughs> that was Morty that did that. I get it. Yeah, <laughs> third person is you. Uh, once again, leg hasn't t- touched anybody, but you know you can do whatever you. Right here, or not, bird person. Um, sure, flirt with her. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to seduce her. Her uh, leg, um, <laughs> you can just seduce yourself, I guess. Um, yeah, yeah, he was yourself. touching himself a while ago, so it's <laughs> oh, fine. He already did that. Roll me, uh, are you, are you actually? Do you actually Hold like on, her? Trying to, oh, yeah. Uh, this isn't a trick. This is fucking love. <laughs> okay, then roll me, roll me a persuasion check. So you do also have bardic inspiration, so you can add I believe in you. Program. Wait, I can do what? You, you have bardic inspiration, so for the next 10 minutes, you can add a d6 to one d20 roll. Okay, and then what am I rolling for right now? Persuasion? Yeah. Shut up. You, you look at her and you try to do those uh uh that eye motion where you look at somebody and like do the eyebrow motion like hey, um and she looks she looks back at you and goes, shut up you fucking loser you're worse than Jerry and she she goes back to making good eyes at King. <laughs> She's not impressed. She's not impressed by you. Yeah. Stay away from my leg. You know, it would have been so easy just to say she's not impressed by you. Would you have to make me feel bad about it? I'm just, I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you <laughs> That's what the how it works. I can't help it. Um, so as as you do that, and she makes eyes um, back at uh, she makes eyes at at Keith, and then she blows him a kiss, and she takes off running. Oh, I'm on the wrong layer. She takes off running this way. We have to go after her. So now this room's completely empty. Can you, I look you around killed... the room? Yeah. Um, give, uh, give me a investigation check. <laughs> I don't fucking see anything. I got a seven. It's a room. It has a table. Yeah, I'm sure it does. Can I you go think those, like, can you I think look those, around the room? I'm gonna can say, I I'd like to check table? out the table. Oh, yeah, okay. you can poke, and you think you think those are stools. I mean, they could be stools, they could be chairs, they could just be pieces of wood. You have no idea, but you know for a fact that that is a table. <laughs> what did you say you want to check here? I said I wanted to check out the table. Hold on, see if there was anything like the hiding table. underneath it. I want to poke the table and look right at here and be like. It's just a table, nothing to worry about. <laughs> roll me investigation, then uh, Ari. You say you want to check the room. You can roll me <laughs> investigation too. 
Oh, you said me roll an investigation? Yeah, both of you roll investigation. Yeah. So both of you look around. Um, you see just uh, who ran off leg. You see eyes body on the ground. Um, all he has is his short bow and uh, what else did he have? On? And a scimitar on him. So if you want to take that, you can. Um, Ari, you can take that if you want, or you can just leave it on his dead body. Um, he had nothing in his pockets because, and you can tell that he's probably was the, as much as he was Downey Jerry, that he was probably actually the loser in the group because they didn't trust him to actually hold anything. Mm. He was like just supposed to be this front line of defense, and he couldn't even do that right because clearly he got killed. And you guys are just continuing to move forward. Jerry, you can confirm that that's a table, or here you can find that's a table, and those are stools. And it looks like they were playing like a poker game or something on it. Um, so if you want, you can pick that up. Um, but outside of that, the table because of the poker game. No, they they were probably the the bottom of the total pool. They, there's absolutely nothing in this room outside of that pack of cards and his dead body with his weapons. I'd like to take the cards with me. Okay, you have a pack of cards now. They're actually like really nice cards. Like, like the 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 king is um, a really handsome person that you probably think reminds you of somebody who's really cool and handsome. Um, the queen kind of looks like Lyanne. Um, the Joker looks like oh. you a little bit. Um, the Jack looks like the Jack looks like Keith, and then um, the uh, Ace kind of looks like Ari, and then you see um, like what looks to be just just a, a all the numbers going down, but then you see one card at the end that says Wild Card, and and you think that looks like somebody you know. That's why the answer person is the person. Um. You think that looks like someone you know, but you can't. You feel like you also don't like the wild card, and you kind of like toss it to the side. You don't want that card in the deck, but the wild card is probably like the best card in the deck. Probably should keep it with you. So why can I pick up the card if he drops it? Can I pick it up? Yeah, you absolutely can. He he he. Kara looked at it, saw what what picture was on the wild card, and just threw it threw it to the side. So if you want to pick it up, you can. Okay, Kurt, are you going to keep it, or can I keep it? I dropped it on accident. That sounds like a card I would really want. <laughs> you can pick it back up. You can yeah, keep I'm gonna, it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick it back up. Yeah. Consider, if I keep it, it would have had poop. Trust me, I know. I'm trying to keep everything out of your fingers <laughs> as possible. You didn't, Thank you. You didn't touch it, right? No, no, no I, did, I didn't get to. You saw me coming, and then you were like, oh, ew, and you picked it up. Just so I can check um, before we keep moving on, uh, Keith, can you see the map now, or can you still not see it? I can see it now. Yes. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's all. Is it you? You, if you want, you can pick up the scimitar and um, the short bow off of the goblin outside of that. Uh, Kira got a really nice pack of cards. Yeah, I did. Mm. It's kind of weird no, that I'm the face gonna... cards look like you got all, but Kara Kara doesn't care about that because they're really nice, kind of like wow. gold. Around the edge. Yeah, I'm not picking up anything. You don't oh, like your <clears throat> poopy hands? Hmm? You, you don't like your poopy hands? Wait, our our leg or eye? Who, who died here? I um, died. Here. I, I, yeah, I, did. I died. I wasn't wearing any gloves, I died. right? You weren't wearing any what? I wasn't wearing any gloves, right? No. He actually doesn't even have a shirt on. He was he was uh, uh, going trying to flex his pecs at you the whole time, and leg was not oh. impressed once you slapped him in the face. Ah. Like he was doing, he was doing that. Um, I forgot his name, boy. He like jiggles his pecs. He was trying to do that, but like completely failing at it. Loser. <laughs> He's dead. Leave him alone. <laughs> well, you want to leave me alone? He called you shitty pants like five times. Calm down. And he called me a loser as he was dying. <laughs> That's so going to stick long. with me forever. Forever? <laughs> you do see a door at the end of the hallway. Ari, we must do something about this smell. And I hand her the vial of perfume I have. 
and then walk that away. That's smell even worse. I <laughs> need a shower. I would say you can do that if you want. See what happens. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna toss through the vial. Uh, right. Do you, do now you I smell like door? rotten fruit. Yeah. Now, now also you can't sneak up on people. <laughs> Your smell has amplified. <laughs> that freaking <laughs> damn it! <laughs> well, it's not like I was helping in any way, so let's just move on, I guess. Jerry, do you want to go through that door? I would. I would like to go through this door. So you step oh, into the room. room. Mm -hmm. The room is a sort of trapezoidal kind of room with a door to the east, to the north, and then the south door that you just came through. It's also got statues kind of scattered around, mostly statues of Rick with the inscriptions like, wow, and damn. But one of the statues depicts a woman in armor, really fine crafting, like really interesting. It seems like a great artist worked hard on this one. It's the center one. Can I look around the room? Mm -hmm. See if there's anything interesting? Um, anything specific that you want to look at? No, I just want to look around the room. I know the statues are cool and someone smarter than me is going to check it probably. Um, give me an uh, investigation check. Okay. Um, you see that each of the statues um, like you saw the inscription, you noticed that the statue on the plaque of the woman one is different than all the Rick ones. And at the base it says, don't worry, I'm not a real person turned into stone. I'm just a really cool looking statue put here to intrigue you. I don't believe that for a single second. Hmm? You don't believe that? Why would it do, say that? Do you, want to keep, do you want to check the statue now? Yes. Okay, give me a perception <laughs> check. Yeah, one. How dare you? How how dare you? <laughs> it's it's a do, do me like that. <laughs> you, you absolutely believe it. It's a statue. <laughs> I was <laughs> jinxed. <laughs> That's why I said someone smarter than me should check the statues. Damn it. That was a dice Can really. I, I check the statues? Oh, sorry. Yeah. I didn't realize so card was talking. He, said, he was just saying it's a dice roll. I mean, you do have a plus three. You are, should be good at perception. <laughs> Give me a perception check. <laughs> I have a plus five for perception. Uh, I got a natural 20. Okay, so oh. you, you see after carefully uh, searching that the statue has a hidden compartment and it holds a scrap of paper. Um, and, when he, and when you pull out the paper, it's a note written in common and it says, Quit wasting time. Pick a door and go. Flip a coin if you have to. Just pick a direction. It's not rocket science. What are you going to do? Spend the whole night standing here in the stat with the statues? You need to pick a door and go. This is like the third fucking room. We don't have all day. Well, no one tells me what to do. <laughs> Feisty. I want to investigate this dirt-looking shit at the bottom right. That's what I'm um, going to do, too. Um, I, I will give you I will give you that one for free. It's it's a pile of rocks. It looks like it's blocking a pathway, but there it's stacked in a way where you can't pull one out. Can um I tell the rest of the party that I found this note and that I think we should go to this middle room over here? You're just gonna listen to the note, huh? I mean, yeah, it seems like a pretty trustworthy <clears throat> note. Yeah. Sounds like a cool Can I investigate the note? I mean, it sounds like a cool person wrote it. Yeah, it's a really cool person probably wrote that note, and you should probably listen to it. I don't know. Everyone knows how many cool people write notes. I agree. The note Keith, I, I, Only losers write. Keith, I healed you. You have to listen to me. At least for one turn. <laughs> Can I ask Dan if I should listen? Yeah. Where is Dan? I don't see him. And the, He's um, in my friend pocket. Or his shoulder. Is he still there? Mm-hmm. Yep. Or he's in the hallway. Or, yeah. I'd like to pull Dan out and ask if I should go that way with two. Oh. I trust your judgment. We should go wherever you want. You're like the smartest person I know. Those other people are idiots. I like you. Hey. Can I do one more thing before we change rooms? Mm-hmm. Can I uh can I pull out my small knife and just kind of stab Dan just a little bit just to make sure that he knows oh. to stand by? 
Wow. Mm -hmm. Roll a check. Oh, wow. Wow. He needs You're... to stay in line. What if you kill oh, wait. him? But if I don't have the knife equipped, I guess it doesn't. Like, can I not? No, you. Uh, do you. Let me go. Uh, inventory. Um. You just roll. Um. Be with your decks. Um. Roll. A d twenty. Add two. D twenty. Add two. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can I like intimidate him before, as he's pulling the knife out? Like I don't want roll. him to stab Dan. Um. He's he's uh. So ten. Add two. Twelve. You you can try to he missed. <laughs> oh, you still trying to intimidate him? <laughs> it's Kerr trying yep. to do this. You know it's not gonna. <laughs> I probably slipped and fell on my own damn knife. <laughs> you, you try to swing I'm at him, and, and Dan goes like, because he's pulled out now. He goes to the other shoulder of uh, Keith and goes, "I don't like that one. We should kill him." Yeah, let's intimidate Kerr too. Uh, roll it if if you get um well I was gonna say if you get above fifteen but you got a seventeen. Kurt uh you look at Keith and he has like those death eater eyes looking at you and you pee yourself a little. Yeah. So now you have pee on your shoulder and pee in your pants. You still don't smell as bad as Ari with her poopy poopy pants. Um but you're not exactly smelling the freshest either. I feel awful yeah. knowing that I am the closest person to Kier right now. We roll like crap and we both smell bad. I have a quick question. <laughs> what? Aw, father daughter. We, what room are we technically in right now? Three. Okay. Okay, let's just listen to mom then. Yep, that's where I'm going. So you can, uh, thank you, guys. Don't forget Dan. She's hanging out on the wall. Dan, Dan, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dan moved with last time. If you, um, before you touch yourself, if you drag, um, the mouse thing over the whole thing, it'll click both, um, both of you so you can move them as one. Word. Okay. I'll try that. So, um, so, um, as you approach the room, um, you're good at perception. I don't want to pick you. Third person. Roll me a perception check. Um, oh. you, you hear voices arguing in the next room again, and you don't understand what they're saying, but it sounded the same as the people who were in here, so you assume there's more goblins. Who yeah, hears this? A uh, bird person. Okay. I think there's more goblins ahead. Go get them. Does Jerry walk in? <laughs> you know My what? ass Where walks in whistling. <laughs> <laughs> We're the ones that speak goblin, so we should go first. Jerry, going you in walk... whistling? I'm going in whistling, yeah. Oh, Make sure that they know that I'm here. Oh, God. I'm going anybody. in smelling like crap, so they, there's <laughs> no way they don't know that we're here. Yeah, exactly. Um, as you open the door and go in, you see two pissed off goblins chattering in their native language. Um, between them is one dead goblin, and all of them look alike, so maybe they're related. Um, something for you to just think about. But behind them is a pile of glittering treasure. Wealth beyond reckoning. It could be yours. Just deal with these goblins first. Oh, and remember that they could be someone's mommy and daddy. Um, Jerry, or Kerr, because you speak goblin, you hear that um, they are, are talking about uh, arguing over who killed the third one. They're like accusing each other. Um, this one is uh, Jerry, and he's saying uh, Jerry spelled G E R E, and he's uh -huh. saying you did it. You 100 percent. It's your fault. And then this one uh, is Jerry J E R E, um, and he's saying um, absolutely not. I didn't do it. You killed Ted. This is Ted. Um, and they're arguing back and forth. What the rest of you just hear is. Murder, treasure, a hole. That's the only thing that you can pick out because you don't speak goblin. Only um, Kerr and Ari actually hear the full conversation of the saying, "Now, uh, I didn't do it. That it was hundred percent your fault. You did this." I mean, if we kill them both, then it won't matter. 
who killed the yeah, other I mean, one. It's true, you could. Are you going to try to murder him? I'm not making any choices. You guys go. I'm poopy pants. You ran up there you first. Slump him with your poopy hands. What's the name <laughs> of the dead goblin? Ted. 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 So you have Jerry and Jerry and Ted. Can I go running in and drop to my knees saying, No, Ted! Or do I yep. know his name? <laughs> yeah, because uh, Jerry said, No, you killed Ted. So yes, you 100% know his name. Perfect. Well, yes, and I'm going to go ahead and just fawn over Ted in his dying breath. <laughs> As you run in and you're like, No, Ted! Uh, Jerry, this one, turns you and see, and uh, Looks in your seat and says, um, uh, "Oh, th- someone else is here. They can 100. They can figure it out. Can can you show him that I didn't kill Ted?" And and Jerry uh, pushes pushes him aside and looks at you like, "No, no, no. Show him that I didn't kill Ted." You're like, "You clearly are smart. You can figure this out." Where's Crude? You killed Ted, you bastard. Are you just going to cry over the body? Yeah, that's it. That's uh, I'm here as a distraction. That's that's my job. <laughs> Is there any way of knowing who actually killed Ted? Do you want to try to figure out? Ooh, wait, hold on. Can can I pull my stinky daughter back real quick and brainstorm? Mm-hmm. If she's willing you to go t- back. Are you going to touch me? Uh, or should I'm I just gonna, go? I'm going to whisper quietly, like, a couple feet away from you. Um, but like I, I, I do have I have. <laughs> what kind of role would that be if we're trying to uh, trick them into telling us the truth? I guess. Dad, can I play some uh, mystery oh, okay. slash stalling Never music? <laughs> no, no. Like while you guys are talking, I want to play like you know, while we talk. Some some music to stall them. Dabs, Where what did kind of role... go? Dabs, what kind of role would that be? He needs to do a performance check to see if he's just butchering it. No, I I meant like mine to if. Oh, we what, what, try... I didn't. I, they were talking while you were talking, so I didn't hear you. Um, if we were to try to get them to tell us the truth, um, you can either go in there and make an investigation check, um, mm. to see if you can see stuff around the room. You can make a. Uh, a wisdom check to see if you can, or not was an uh, insight check to see if you can tell if one of them is lying about killing them. So either you can try to look around the room and pick up clues, or or try to gauge if they're lying. Okay, I want to ask um, before we like when I'm talking with Ari, I want to ask uh, how yeah. her insight is before we do anything, because I think the one with the higher in- insight should definitely um, attempt this. Yeah, I'm, my insight's not that good. I have a plus three. Would you Would you like to uh, brainstorm and I will follow your lead? You can be the brains behind this daughter because, you know, you do smell like poop. They'll, they'll see you coming. I think, I think, I should, I, think I should stay back. Um, my insight is plus one. And they are... I mean, I could distract them with the poopy smell. But they will attack us if I go there. Why do you think everyone will attack you? Yeah, these guys are well, nice. Well, they're just trying to make sure Jerry's that in there, I know. Uh, Kerr's in there right now, and they're just standing there haxing for help. Can I um? Can I go in next to a bird man, or bird person mm-hmm. who's doing the beautiful music and um, see if I can tell who's the one that actually killed Ted? Mm-hmm. Give me an insight check. Okay. Uh, nineteen plus three, so twenty-two. Ooh, um, See, I'm telling you, can tell you I can I can roll good, yeah. just not for fights. <laughs> you can tell that they're both full of shit. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna um, <laughs> my people. I'm gonna kind of look uh, back. Oh, um, full of shit, like they're both lying, not actually full of shit, like you are. <laughs> Feel my people. I'm gonna I'm gonna look over at uh bird person and kind of like raise my my eyebrows like trying to subtly tell him that they're both lying but not actually using any words i'm just doing terrible charades hoping he understands what i'm saying <laughs> they're uh Kara, they're still looking at you like please you have you have to you have to tell figure out who 
Who killed who? We need to find Ted's killer. I look up at him and say, Jerry did it. Can I nonchalant walk around Jerry to Jerry and try to stab him in the back? Yeah. Yep. Pull out the dagger. Slowly creep over to Jerry. Is it Jerry? <laughs> Attack. And af- af- after you, oh, so now everyone roll initiative because you just stabbed one of them. I will say, yeah. you stabbed and killed him. <laughs> he he just still, still, still looking at, at, at uh, Kerrigan like, please tell us, tell us who did it. <laughs> and, and as he's looking and doing it, you just hear, yes, please. And he falls off and, and Jerry looks at you and goes, what the hell? And he pulls out his two I rolled a five. I'm just going to always put you last. Yeah, I saw. I saw it. yours is in present. I'm just going to always put you in. <laughs> that, that sounds like something you probably should do for initiative. That sounds like a good <laughs> idea. <laughs> do I need a roll initiative too? Everyone rolls initiative. It's just gotcha. you already had your turn because you acted. Uh, you started it. Got a 15. Wait, yep, yeah, 15. Hey, I get to go before three of you. I'm getting better. Or you're getting worse. We don't know which. <laughs> it's one of it's one or the other. Ari, you go first. Um I don't um give me a perception check with Okay. I see something, but not a lot. Um Um uh Leanne, give me a a, a stealth. Just for when you're trying to sign a Birdman early, I'm trying to see if Ari saw you. Okay. Um. No, I want to do sleight of hand, but it doesn't matter because I have a two. So Ari, <laughs> you 100% saw um Lian when she was like motioning the bird person, like uh, they're lying, they did it. So take with that what you want, but uh, this one is dead, but the other one is still up. Um, I attack Terry with uh my longbow. I mean, you can try. I swing at him. I can try. Um, and I can you, fail. You shoot an arrow, and it whips past him, and actually lodges the pile of gold over here. And it's kind of it's kind of sticking in it. And um, give me another perception check. I see everything. It's kind of weird as hell that that is stuck inside gold like that, like to the point where you think that's not actually real fucking gold. <laughs> <laughs> Some might, some might say that as you pierce it, you see that it's, it's chocolate, and they're both oh, idiots. Are those are those uh, chocolate coins? Uh huh. <laughs> by any by any chance? Uh huh. Well, in that twenty, <laughs> you one hundred percent, you're like, those are chocolate coins. You're both dumb. <laughs> Did they kill Ted over chocolate? Is that a thing that happened? Um, finish combat and find out. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Keith, it's your turn. <laughs> oh, Keith, you already attacked actually. Because- you start an initiative. The goblin's is going to try to go attack Keith because you just stabbed his friend in the back. He got a two. He didn't attack anything. He he, he 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 do- he dodges the arrow very proficiently. Tries to roll. Come by come by Keith to stab him. Um. Oh. Uh. Before I move on from your turn, actually, just so you know, if you ever want to, because you have tamed Dan, if you want to put him in an initiative with you, you can, and you can have him start sucking people's lifeblood. Word. Oh. He um and if you if you ever run if you want to write this down somewhere, um he has a plus four to his attack. So you would just roll a D twenty and add a plus or not plus four, a plus five and So he has a be, plus five. Mm-hmm. So you'll roll a D twenty, add a plus five if you want to make him attack. You don't have to, you can keep him in your pocket. I'm just letting you know. But he you roll a D twenty plus five and if he hits, it's one D four plus three and he sucks their blood. But also know he has two health, so be careful with him because he could die. You know all this now because you have tamed him and he's your best friend. He He's never looked at anyone the way he looks at you. You're the sun and the moon all combined together. If he dies, I will kill you. <laughs> Dan better die soon. Damn. If Dan dies, I will kill everyone in the party and then myself. Wow. Uh, but Jer dodges the arrow, rolls up beside Dan and, and say, you bastard, and slashes. But as he slashes, he just kind of um, makes... A, a deep cut on the ground by you. And he's like, I meant to do that. That was just to scare you. And you 100% sure. don't believe him. <laughs> uh, 
Kira, it's your turn. I am going to run up on Jerry, and I'm going to attack him with my quarterstaff. Okay. Um, oh. Ro- um, roll, roll your damage. Um, I think you should do automatically, but you roll twice if it doesn't roll it twice. I can if you push it, I'll see if it. Uh, it rolls a d6 and what's that? D12. Um, uh, so for your quarterstaff, um, it um <laughs> are big distinction. Are you holding it with two hands? I am. Roll the d8, but roll it twice. Roll two d8s. Mm-hmm. Okay, and that's one I have to go do it manually, and then roll it again. Mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> not talk about it. <laughs> I mean, you still hit him. So you uh, you roll. Um, you come up behind him as he rolls, slashes the ground in front of uh, Keith, and says, "I did that on purpose." And you just bonk him on the top of his head. And he's like, "What the <laughs> hell, man? I thought we were friends." <laughs> <laughs> um. You third person head over chocolate. Third person is your turn. <laughs> you you don't know if he killed Ted over chocolate. You just That's throw his chocolate looks. in the room. <laughs> you just throw his chocolate in the room. How many goblins does it take to open a locked chest? It depends on how hungry the mimic is. Uh vicious mockery on Jerry. <laughs> okay, you got a net one. Yay! <laughs> That's uh, four psychic damage. <laughs> as, as as you see, uh, him turn and look at Jerry with sad eyes, like I thought we were friends. And you say that he's trying to eat, like is that even? And um, he, he compl- his head starts to crack, and he goes down. And as it gets his throat, it pops open. His head explodes off, but you see, um what you think is gold pieces coming out of his throat. It's fucking chocolate, isn't it? They're both dead, though. <laughs> Emotional damage. Killed Ted over chocolate. What a shame. Can can I look at Ted's body? Um, and see if yeah. he also swallowed some freaking chocolate? Um, yeah, give me... Um, give me an investigation check. Um, meets it, beats it. Um... You can also you can also see that he has um goat pieces kind of like as if he was stuffing them down his throat. You can see like a couple sticking up at the top. Do you want to try to pull it out? You know, my first instinct was why, but yeah, sure. Um you pull it out you pull out that um piece that you can see kind of in his throat and you notice that piece does not look like the chocolate piece on the ground. This actually looks like real goat. Like he actually ate real goat. Oh. Do you of want, course, she want, gets the gold piece. Um, <laughs> she looked inside. Do you want? Is you just want to just go for that one, or you do anything else in this? <laughs> I want to keep checking him. Maybe he has more. Um, give me a survival survival check. Ah, damn it! No, it's cool. It's it's low. <laughs> um, you slice him open, and a hundred gold pieces flow out his belly. I will divide it with the group. So you Better. each get 20. Don't fucking touch yeah. him. Are you only checking his body? No, I want to keep checking it. Um, I'm desecrating ten, these dead men. With your 10, I will let you cut them both, the other two both over. They all have 100 gold pieces in their body. So that's 300 gold pieces between the three of you. So that's, or five of you, that's 60 each. They all swallowed 100 pieces of gold. They're, they're both, there's per- per- perfectly good chocolate gold pieces over there that they could have did this with. Um, and they all swallowed the real gold. So we do 60 gold oh. pieces each? Mm-hmm. From what you so can tell were... from the way from the way um, Ted's gold piece was in his mouth, you think they were having a gold eating contest, but used the real gold instead of the chocolate gold. And he just, like, choked trying to swallow the gold down. I'm just going to walk over to the pile of chocolate gold pieces and just start eating. You can eat, you can eat it. It's, it's, it's actually, like, pretty fine chocolate. We check them to make sure it's... I haven't touched it, so anybody chocolate. can eat it. Can someone feed me a piece of chocolate so I don't have to touch it with my poopy hands? No. Nope. Um. I gave all about you Dan, gold. and he can feed you a piece of to- chocolate. Would Dan feed me chocolate, please? Yep. Thank you. He'll be gladly he, to. He flies and puts a little piece in your mouth, and you're like, what? "Is this Gardelli chocolate?" 
Delicious. This is why Dan is the only person I love in this group. I'm going to sneak up behind Dan while he's feeding her chocolate. I'm going to be like, don't fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> um, And just because well, I want to make sure you guys are keeping track, you all were able to add the goat to your sheet, correct? Mm-hmm. Okay, sweet. Um, I know I show Ari how to do it. Just remember, I didn't show anything. Else. I put um, 60 gold in other possessions. Is that fine? Um, you can't, you can actually keep track of your goal, um, because you already have goals. So if you go to inventory and you see the 15 at the top. Oh yes. That is gold. Yeah. If you click that and then underneath go where it says GP for gold piece, if you put the 16 and click add, it'll add it to that. Keep track there. Oh, that makes it so much easier. See, look, she's nice. She split this one with you. This is way, this is way more money than the last room, which is silver. No one likes silver. Yeah. And it's poopy. So. Yeah, she's got poopy silver. You've got good gold. It only has a little bit of blood. Just a little. <laughs> just, just a little <laughs> bit from when you slice them open. Just a slight That's bit of gold. That's the best part. Come on. <laughs> you do Wait, see so a door. Does she smell like poop and iron? <laughs> and rotten flowers. Someone threw perfume at me. Oh yeah, that's right. I smell awful. I mean, you could just, you know, find some water and clean it off, but you decided to just keep smelling like poop. I don't know why. Maybe you like smelling I like don't poop. See, I don't see any water. Have you looked? Do me? I see any water? No, there's no water. <laughs> then why did you taunt me? <laughs> why do you say that I choose to smell like crap when there's no water to be found? You, 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 didn't, you, you, didn't, you didn't ask at first. Now you've asked, and now you know that there's not. Yeah, now, now I know. Yeah. <laughs> um, you de- oh, do man. see that there's a door oh, here, God. and um, uh, give me um, uh, Curry, you're the close to the door. Give me a perception check. All right. Perception. There we are. Man, I wish I could make this dice go faster. I like your slow dice. It gives me the ability you to can. drink my water. Roll a real dice. Ooh. Oh, yeah, she got you there. Pop up sure. on screen. Um, mine, mine haven't been. Uh, True. Kurt, um, you hear as you stand by this door as everyone's eating chocolate and putting the gold in their pocket, you hear Leg's voice. Oh, yes. <gasps> Leg. <laughs> Do you stay in this room? Fuck, no, I don't. I go chasing after Leg. <laughs> oh. As you bust through the oh. door, you see Leg is in the middle uh, of uh, four other goblins saying, because um, you speak goblin, you can tell what she's saying. She's like, um, yeah, these dudes just came in and they killed I. Um, this one is actually cute. Um, and and, and he's, he's actually really cool. Um, but the other ones, like, what the Back hell? They're just, in there, <laughs> they're just they're just in there, just like swiping at us. We didn't even do anything. Um, and um, she, you see this one. Um, he speaks up and he's like, "Leg, are you sure you guys have said you ran into people before?" And she's like, "No, Jerry, like totally." There was a person in. And then this one says, uh, "He he looks he looks at this one and says, Jerry, um, spelled J E R I." I think <laughs> I see you found the pen, Jerry. You you know she's always making stuff up. He's like, I I know I know. And he says, Jerry, what do you think? J E R R Y, different. No clue. Um, Jerry's usually the one to take care of her, and he looks to this one. Jerry, take care of take care of her. She's hallucinating again. Um, this one is J or G E R I E, totally different one as well. But all the Jerry's are looking at Leg and don't see you walking. I'm amazed that nobody saw me. Um, you didn't say you came in whistling this time. You just opened the door. That's true. That's true. <laughs> uh, uh, so you have Jerry and Jerry, um, and then uh, if I remember correctly, this one's Jerry, and then this one's Jerry. I'm gonna walk up to Leg, just walk right past the Jerry's, and walk up to Leg, and I say, "Give me one more chance." Why? What room is this? Uh, five. Okay. I love you. Why do you get to ask me questions like? The heart Roll, wants what the heart wants. Roll persuasion. Okay. <laughs> I can't wait for you to screw this over with her again. <laughs> <laughs> she's 
she she looks at you and she says, I mean, you did slap him kind of hard. <laughs> that was the mage hand. I didn't do it. No, she 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 she's no, no, like not saying it as a bad thing. She's saying it she like she likes strong people. Oh, I guess that's true. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was absolutely me. <laughs> she's like <laughs> Yeah, this is the good one. She looked at the rest and she's like, this is the good one. Hey, bae, where's your friends? Jerry she's like, she's like, do, she's like doing that thing where she like puts the finger on anything and is like, Why do like, uh, do, do the thing on the chest where she's like, hey, babe, kind of playing with like your chest. Where's your so friends? I'm going to have to roll initiative again. And because I'm me and I don't even think about the fact that I shouldn't answer that question, I say, they're right behind me. You see all mm-hmm. the Jerry turn around. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. Rolling his shit. Fair enough. Fair can enough. We just, can we just kill Kyre here? <laughs> hey, I got a yeah, 13. <laughs> Do I have hey, to roll the shit too? You and me. Yeah, just so we can see when you're going. <laughs> she, asked, she asked, told them not to attack you, though, so which is good for you. Rip. Hey, guys. Fuck you, Kerr. Uh, where's Ari's 16 and then let's see if they can actually go before you guys okay that dex is going away yep. I got another nat 1 on it and I didn't like um, it so I heard her throw it and then you could hear it bounce in the background mm-hmm. so there's two <laughs> dice I have to find later don't worry I have more <laughs> <laughs> and this is why you have more than one set Bob <laughs> I'm not that person that's going to yeet my dice across the room. If they should be better. Never oh. say never. Oh, all right, you go first. You you see all of them turn and look down the hallway at you, but none of them. Have. So you have Jerry, 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 and Lig. Oh, and Kerr. Can I... You know what? Let's fuck this up. Can I try and talk to them? And say um... again that we mean no harm? Even though we killed like five people behind me? And you're holding up uh, your poopy fingers. Can I smell like it, shit and blood? Yeah. Um, <laughs> give me a persuasion check at disadvantage. So roll it twice, and I'm gonna take the lower one. Is that that one again? <laughs> right here. You were one off. <laughs> <laughs> it was so a close. So <laughs> you look at them, and they kind of pause for a second. But then they look back at Leg, and she like does the like, Mm-mm. um, head. She like, I've heard, I've heard this Damn before. <laughs> <laughs> and they still look like they're gonna attack you. Is that is that? Uh, do you want to do anything else? Uh, yeah, I end my turn. <laughs> Don't attack me. Uh, I deserve this. I just yeah. Um, me first person, it's your turn. <laughs> okay. Well. They're all looking at us and not looking at Kerr, so... No, they're looking at you guys. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna... That's her bay. I'm going to target okay. that whole area. Uh, <laughs> area? Okay. Excuse me. <laughs> Kerr. Uh, and I'm going to cast Fairy Fire. Oh. Okay. Um, <laughs> That's fairy Fire, they here, have... Though. It, it's, I, I, I believe it just um, blinds them, if I remember correctly. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so it's a deck safe uh, versus DC 13. Um, if they fail, then they're illuminated. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then you guys have advantage. Up to a minute and then attack rolls against them have advantage. So, uh, Kira, you also have to roll a deck safe. FY. Uh, deck safe. Don't, don't worry. He's just trying to Kanye West you. Okay. Um, what, what did you say the deck save was? 13. Uh, the 12. <laughs> <laughs> so I got a 16 on Jerry and then the other ones fail. So the Jerry that has the funny nose on it. Jerry. Yeah, he <laughs> saved. The rest of them did not. Handsome Jerry saved. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, then I'm going to move back. You, 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 you tossed you toss light on and then was like, and I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. I've done my job. He's out. They're all glowing. You guys have attacks on them. Lion, is your turn. For a second. 
Um, <laughs> how much movement like is each square? Is it just five? Like five feet? Okay. So I'm yeah. just gonna like move just into this hallway here. Which one's leg? The one that's to the left is. Leg is in the right, middle. Right? Oh, in the middle. Mm-hmm. And okay, then you so... have uh, Jerry, 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 and Jerry. Okay, I'm gonna move right here, and um, I don't like that Kerr, who is supposedly my husband, is flirting with somebody else. So I'm gonna, I'm happy that he took a little bit of damage from that fire, and I'm going to. You didn't take damage. Well, I'm Just happy that he blindness. almost took damage. He's got a little fright in him now, and he's, um, he's I'm gonna do a crossbow at leg to um, try to take her out. I don't like competition. Okay, and you, don't forget you have advantage. Okay. Uh, advantage just means you roll twice and take the yes. highest one. Yep. Mm -hmm. Does eleven hit? Um, no, you you uh shoot at her, <laughs> and she looks at you and you says, "I don't like that one. Get her first. <laughs> um, that's that's all I got. I'm gonna stay right here. I'm gonna stand my ground. I'm um, not Keith, it's your turn. All right. And I roll back. To um, I mean, I guess I can't really do much. You can do so much. So many things. Target rich environment. You can do it all. I'm just gonna run up here. Can I just like eat chocolate at everybody? Give yep. me a uh, um. <clears throat> give me a dex, uh, check. So just a uh, d20 plus two. Um, you you throw it and it it lands directly by leg, and she picks it up, sees that it's it's chocolate, eats a piece. It's the most delicious chocolate she's ever had in her life, and um, she stops looking at uh, Kurt and looks back at you and gives you like winky eyes. Not again. <laughs> yeah. Back to me, fuck you, Kurt. <laughs> Kurt, it's your turn. <laughs> I That's like that the father and son are fighting over a chick. <laughs> <laughs> I love the theme. I also like that I just randomly decided that this was going to be a thing. It's not a thing, and you guys are fully playing into it. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am fully planning on flirting with handsome Jerry. Just so you know. Don't kill him! Wait, somebody left Dan behind. Oh, Danny's there because he, he, we don't want him to die. Oh, before it's her turn, do you want do you want to do anything with Dan? Dan the man. Nah. <laughs> Don't you dare. Keeping him hidden. Okay. Kurt, it's your turn. Um You see her wink at, at Keith. How close am I standing to her? You're right next to her. Like, cause she was touching up on you. So she still has her hand on your chest, but you see that she turned her head and winked at Keith. Okay. Damn. So I'm gonna go ahead and attack her with the quarter staff. Okay. <laughs> you, have, you have you have a vanish. She's she's glowing. I would assume that this is. Uh, you, get, you roll twice. Yeah, you oh. get to roll again because you have an advantage. Oh right, right, right. Okay. I mean, That's I exciting. can take your seven if you just really want. No, me I really don't want to take a seven. <laughs> if I don't have to. Well, looks like I'm taking seven. <laughs> Oh wow! <laughs> you didn't want me yep. to take the seven, but the wow. game really wants you to take the seven. Apparently, <laughs> you. <laughs> she winks at Keith, <laughs> and then you swing at her, and she goes, oh, "How dare you, Jerry's? Get him!" And now I'm standing in the middle of them. <laughs> mustache Jerry and um, Jerry with a G both turn at you. Why Jerry and Jerry um, on the right side still look at the hallway? Because they're still mad at uh at uh Leanne. Um so now they're all Jerry and Jerry are gonna swing at Kerr and then Leg, Jerry and Jerry are gonna swing at or uh shoot a bow at uh Leanne. Please oh. don't get one. Also, uh Jerry Jerry. I'm I'm just seeing some my dice by color. Okay, that's cool. Um Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Kerr. <laughs> um, I missed Lion. <laughs> uh, I did can not I, miss you. Can I like dodge out of the way? Cause I'm just that cool. Oh, uh, one question for Fairy Fire: Do they have disadvantage? <laughs> nope. Okay. Um, yeah, you can say you dodge out of the way. One rolled a net one at you. 
So um, I stick my tongue out at them. Oh, as actually, they, as they miss me. Actually, let me actually say these out loud because I'm I I I think I'm thinking of Ari's uh, armor class. Do, does a 13 or a 14 hit you? No, I have an 18. Okay, I I, I thought you were high. Uh, so yeah, they they all miss you. Um, oh, yeah, uh, I just dodge out of the way and I stick my tongue out at them to mock them a little bit. Kerr, you really want me to roll like not good on these? They do have advantage against Kerr, though. Oh yeah, I mean, let yep. me see if I crit. Let me see if I crit. Because he's also oh. very fired. I just okay. I didn't crit. Um, but you take let's see, six plus That's four so is nice. ten. You uh, you take ten points of damage as they both turn to you, um, and walk up and say, "Hey." Don't you disrespect leg, and uh, they just swing at you. So you take ten points of damage. How are you doing? Did he just lose his? Are you dead? Uh, he didn't. He's not dead. He's knocked out. But let him say, it. "Hey, Kerr, how you doing?" Minus, four minus ten. <laughs> oh my how god! You doing? <laughs> I thought it was just minus ten. No, he he was at four. Yeah, he got so hit. He, he got hit. In the other room, so he so was already at four. So he's technically minus six. He's dead. He's knocked no, out. No, he's not dead. He's not dead. I didn't double. I didn't double his dead. He's just knocked out. But he does have a fail. I do have a fail. Yeah. So you, you, if you get two more death fails um, on your saves, unless someone picks you up, then you die. then you die. Right now, you're just knocked out. So I'll mark this. Is you're just marked out. You're not dead. Who would, who would have thought, as you stand in the middle of them, that you probably shouldn't have found yeah. them? <laughs> oh. I just stand in the middle of them, try to hit after, one. Oh after, they said, Jerry, after they said, let's not talk to this one. <laughs> you bring Jerry on an adventure, you gotta know it's gonna get shitty. No, I I love it. <laughs> they were like, let's not attack this guy, and then he was like, skip that, and they are like, okay, well, I mean, let's attack him now. <laughs> Fuck him. Um, now it is back to, like, it's back to uh, Pooby. I mean Ari. Can can I go pick him up and drag him back so we can share the poop? Because I touched him. Um, you can't you, you can go pick him up. If you go pick him up and walk back, um, Jerry will get an attack of opportunity against you. Just so you know, actually both Jerry's will because they're both within five. Well, then let him die. Um. <laughs> I don't want your poopy fingers anyway. <laughs> he's not dead yet. So, he's fine. He's passed out. Um. Okay. Can I attack? I want to attack the the lonely Jerry here, bottom right. Okay. And I will do longbow again. I refuse to move. Don't move. It's it's really bad to be in that room. It's like five of them. Whoever go in there. Yeah, I I know. <laughs> Only an idiot would go. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> and she falls into the room. <laughs> I fall into the room. No, I'm still in the back. Well, that's your damage. Roll the attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As fun as it would be to make you roll a six. Oh no, you hit. Um. Oh, I hit. hit. Okay. Yeah, you hit, and um, as as they try to hit, that's actually the one that rolled the nat one. So as they try to hit, he like kind of stumbles back because he's so bad at shooting his bow. Like it's it's a hundred percent too big for him. He should probably have like a smaller boat. Um, oh no! As you, as you shout that advice to him, like, "Hey, get a weapon that's your size," and he turns to look at you, and just the the arrow just pierces him directly in the shoulder. Um, the shoulder he was actually shooting with, and he looks like he has one more breath in him, and he's not looking good. And he just turns Is back to leg. Is he also going to call me a loser? No, he turns the leg and say, "Why the." Fuck do you have us fighting him? <laughs> <laughs> it is bird person's turn. That's this one. Right oh, here. actually, I'm sorry. Real quick, before we move on, roll roll your attack again. See if you crit. You have advantage. I roll attack or Let's, damage. Yeah, roll the attack again and see if you crit. Because if okay. you crit, you get another dice and you might kill him. Okay, you didn't crit. Okay, um, bird person, it's your turn. That was this one, right? Yep. Yep. One, two, three. Uh, I'm gonna stab this one with rapier. Okay. Well, we're gonna try. Uh, 19 to hit. Yep. Um, I mean, you can roll it. He has one hit point left, but you can see how much you kill him. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's only 
get three because I got a one on the die. As he still, uh, he turned to look at legs like, why do you fuck you ha have us attacking them? He he goes to turn back, but he doesn't get his his face fully around as you just stab him in the back, and you see like his whole arm just get shot. Oh, you stab you stab them where the arrow hit, so it was stabbed in that part and finished the incision, and he falls to the ground. You must not shoot it up. You must not shoot it, Leanne. And then I will finish movement over here. Okay, and now it's this Leanne's turn. Um, leg. Oh, also he moved. Sorry. Leg and Jerry tried to shoot at you. Try to shoot at me? Mm-hmm. They missed, but they did try. Well, I mean, just so you know, just letting you know the facts. I'm gonna move here. Because I feel like um, a little bit of therapy could help. And I'm going to use my last spell and cast Cure Wounds on my lovely husband. Who has been trying to cheat on you this entire time. It's okay. Time. We can go to therapy. <laughs> it's fine. We got to stay together for the children. Um, and, I didn't uh, want to bring it up, but I mean. Hey, yo, the, children, the children would prefer. I, no, I, I, just didn't, didn't I believe in second chances. Here's just Bam. sitting there on death door thinking, why? Why would Leg choose Keith over me? <laughs> All of a sudden, you feel a hand on your shoulder and you Leg, and you come back to life with full health and you see <laughs> our lion just over you touching your shoulder. Alright, so how do I get these hit points back? Because it definitely says failure success on the top right of my thing. Um, If you put next to your hit points 8 and just put heal, it should bring you back and it should take your stuff. I don't see where I have hit points at all. Uh, up, 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 up. Current HP. Oh, wait, healing. I heal for... I eight. go back to full health? Yep. Uh, okay, I'm good there. So this is me awake now? Yeah, you're like, oh. and 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 literally, I, and actually you come out and you're like, Look! but you just see my hand above you. You want to say anything before I move on? Want to talk to her? Do you want to thank your wife for saving you? <laughs> I'm not even going to say thank you. I'm just going to say, honey, just let oh, her take God. that how she will. Can I just kick him? <laughs> That's why we all turn? have issues. <laughs> Can I just kick him and end Sounds like a waste of me. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to actually hurt him or you just want to no, kick I'm him? Just, kick I just want to kick him to kick him. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to actually hurt him? I mean, I don't want to waste my. I don't want to waste my uh, heal that I just did. I mean, I just had yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> um, Keith, it's your turn. All right. Can I get this little sleepy face off the thing? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. God, <laughs> you don't want to be sleep. So I am actually gonna run up here. An attack Ooh. this Jerry with my dagger. Big move. But before I pull it out, I'm gonna yell out, "Sorry, leg, but this must be done." Whip out the dagger, stab Jerry. Uh, roll your attack twice to see if you. Uh, roll your attack again once. Uh, from... Oh, my attack. Yeah, because right. you have advantage. I just want to see if you crit. No, but you did hit. Um, and so you you say. Sorry, leg. This has to be done. <laughs> and she and she turns to you, blows a kiss to you, as you stab Jerry in the back, <laughs> and he he just his eyes start bleeding out as all of it like brushes up to his face, and he just falls down. He's dead. <laughs> Perfect. And then and then you see her kind of do like a. Ooh. <laughs> she's kind of she's kind of sick, <laughs> and I don't understand why you guys are fighting over her. She has issues. <laughs> Don't you see our parents? We have issues. We were never taught what normal and healthy relationships were like. She's like, exactly. oh, that's kind of that's kind of sexy. <laughs> um, Carrie, it's your turn. <laughs> so the top center one is legs. Mm-hmm. And then the left one is the other Jerry. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you have uh then you have Jerry. And I think currently I'm on my back. Yeah, with but you her have your full you me. have your full movement, so you can get up if you really want to. Okay. Because it takes half your movement, but I assume you're not walking. 
I'm going to, in my very manly, wizardly, Jerry-like substance, push handsome Jerry and say, there's only room for one mustache in this joint. <laughs> Give me an athletics check, and I'm going to roll against you. Wins out. Okay. As the one without a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> We hear race out here. Doesn't mean you can speak Italian. Bibbidi bobbidi. Bibbidi bobbidi. A book of a baby. Yeah, yeah. Take that. Handsome. You you knock it back and he flies back this way. Like, what's the <laughs> <laughs> He flies he flies five feet back and he stands up and like Okay. Okay. <laughs> And luck and lucky for you, it's their turn. Um, yes, yes. So, um, Leg, seeing that uh, the ant has touched you, um, even even if she wants Keith right now, she she right doesn't now. want she doesn't want Lion to have him just in case she wants you later. She doesn't know yet. Um, so she's going to attack Lion. <laughs> Jerry's going to come. I drop my dice. Jerry's going to come back and because you pushed him and try to attack you, and then uh, Jerry's going to attack Bert. Thanks for so, going ahead and moving the uh, moving the mustache with him. That's yeah. <laughs> um, now it's kind of so, eyebrows, but still. <laughs> so yeah. she, she's purple. He's green. He's sign. Okay. Well, um, does uh, all the, I know I missed the rest of you because I. Wrote too, but does uh fit no you have an 18 none of them hit um of course the one that has the high armor that's the one actually halfway decent on so all of them try to turn and pull their scimitars out and swing at you and and jerry and jerry actually clink their scimitars together they're standing too close to do whatever movement they were trying to do and actually um mustache jerry drops his scimitar because it, it clinks off and he like loses his, his grip on his, so he does not have his scimitar right now. But um, Jerry <laughs> still does. And Leg, because she's trying to go past her to get to Lyanne, actually misses her at, with her short bow. Um, So they all miss. Ari is you. Okay. I guess I'm, I'm going to have to go into the room, because everybody's there. You don't have to. That's okay. You <laughs> smell. You can... I prefer <laughs> it when everybody can smell me, actually. That makes a lot of sense why um, you are the way you are. <laughs> and I am going to attack Bottom Jerry with okay. my longbow again. Okay, swing to attack twice. See if you crit. Yeah, we still have advantage, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, let's see how I do. Also, now oh. because your poopy butt is in the room, they have disadvantage. <laughs> uh, you beats it, beats it. You hit him. <laughs> that that seems overkill. Um, <laughs> as I go closer, as, and I, he's gagging as I try to attack him. As as Jerry swings and like hits Jerry's scimitar and knocks it out his hand, he he turns around and say sorry to him. You walk in the room, he smokes. You go, what the hell is that? And this uh, arrow goes and pierces him through the throat, and he falls over. <laughs> He'd even get his full choke out. <laughs> God, I love smelling bad. It was wonderful. You should have came in the room early. They would have been. They would have been had disadvantage. They've been rolling straight. <laughs> They've been. They God haven't been rolling in blood. <laughs> but her person is. It could have been worse. <laughs> All right. I mean, Jerry might not have went down. We don't know. Uh, I'm gonna stab handsome Jerry. That one. Oh yeah, yeah, he did pass. Sorry. That's why he's um, so handsome. Still that's why, yeah. yeah, that's why he's so handsome. <laughs> I mean, the mustache can. <laughs> um, so you come up behind him as he's trying to fumble his scimitar back in his hand, and you actually just straight up cut his arm off. But he's it's not his swinging yeah. arm, and so he's kind of like holding it with his dominant arm, like, "What the hell, man?" But he's still up. <laughs> He took he took part of his mustache off. He cut off that part of the mustache. <laughs> <laughs> he took part of his mustache off. Oh, you're just moving it down. I was like, and and now his mustache 
guess. <laughs> you got the mustache. Yeah, but he's he's sitting there and he's like trying to hold stop the bleeding. Um, but it's not looking good because he is just splurting blood out as he's trying to put his other hand over it. Right. Um, <laughs> that's it for me. Uh, that was bird person. So now it's lion. Um, leg try to shoot at you again. Yeah, I'm I'm pissed at Leg because she still thinks she's got a shot with my husband. That's my husband, okay? And your son. So, well, I mean, I don't care about him. He can he can do whatever he wants. Um, but Kerr's my husband, so I'm gonna do Sacred Flame. And you say Leg. Kerr's my husband, she says, for now. Yeah, bitch, I'm gonna kill you right now. You won't be able to get a wedding in, will ya? <laughs> you need a dex date uh dex date of of thirteen. For sacred flame. Um, uh, she didn't make it. Okay, so. <laughs> so the flame flies, and I'm going no. So that's like three <laughs> radiant damage. So she's, she, uh, she's sitting there, and she's like, four now. Whoa! Ah! 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 And she like hops back a little bit to get away. Yeah, that's what I thought. You stay away from my husband, or you're gonna get more of that. She was on the hot seat. <laughs> Good job, Shadowheart. <laughs> um, it is Keith's turn. You see Leg hop back, uh, and you see you see how Ryan has hurt your woman. How dare she? Sorry, it took a little too long to find so that. Late. <laughs> <laughs> What I the tried. fuck? <laughs> oh my goodness, man. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna swiftly pull out my my bow and yell out, Leg, I will avenge you. And I shoot Mustang Jerry. <laughs> okay. That makes no sense. While he's, <laughs> while he's attacking Leg, can I, um, can I just... He's not attacking sorry, Leg. While he's like, attacking, um, somebody, can I yell out, um, oh. you, I'm gonna remember this one, you need college and, uh, your college tuition paid for. He's got, like, 60 gold, he doesn't need you. <laughs> I got 70 gold. That's how much college, that's how much college costs, right? Obviously. So, yeah, yeah. Wait, so who just uh, got hit? Uh, roll, roll the actual. Jerry. Wait, is that the attack or is that your damage? That's your attack. That oh. That was an attack, yeah. Uh, you, <laughs> you, you shoot at uh at Jerry, but he's he's holding his open wound, bending down, still trying to get his scimitar, and it goes directly over his head. <laughs> really? Courage, courage. Way to go, turn. Morty. Courage, your turn. Uh, but you see, you see, you see that you see that Jerry is bleeding out. Leg has jumped back because Lion has has burned her for no reason whatsoever. She's just been standing here. It's kind of rude. And Leg looks like she's got like scorch marks over her body now. She's really okay. sad. All right. So I don't want legs to burn. So I'm gonna cast Ray of Frost at legs. <laughs> Great logic I, there. Because I don't want her to burn. <laughs> I'm loving this. Uh, roll it twice. Yep, that's an advantage too. Uh, I think I can I throw my D and D dice away, like on D and D Beyond. Where are my dice? I gave you a set of mine last night and a set of yeah. I know. Yours. I just gotta figure out where I put them. <laughs> they were on the counter in the kitchen she put them on the counter on, on, on the counter it wasn't me, it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> thank you fuck <laughs> <laughs> off they left uh, you, you try to do the ray of frost at her and because she's still in a point of hopping back from being burnt, it goes over and she looks at you like, my love. And she... Yeah, like she, I was trying to help her. Fuck yeah! She doesn't know. And so she's she's actually going to uh, shoot at you now. Oh, what the fuck? And Jerry 
is going to try to uh, just punch because he he's like going to do one of those head butt punch head butt punches because he can't take his arm off <laughs> his other arm to pick up his scimitar. So he's just going to try to head butt uh, Birdman, and we'll see how that goes. Um, <laughs> so for Birdman, he oh well, he has an eighteen. Does that hit you? <laughs> Don't worry, it only did one point of damage, the weak boy. And <laughs> um, she shot at you for uh, 8 plus 5 is 13. Hey, J- hey, Kerr, does a, does a uh, 13 hit you? Don't fucking talk about it. <laughs> does, it does it hurt? Uh, say does four it hurt? points. Of, I, I know it hurts. <laughs> He's my little weakling wizard. <laughs> you just want him to say it. I like when he says it. <laughs> you take four points of damage. <laughs> okay. Now it's back to Ari, sir. And she's as she, she she shoots the bow at you. She's like, "We could have been great together." <laughs> well, I don't want to get in on that mess, so I guess I will go against <laughs> handsome Jerry. We could have had it all, but. You kind of don't have arms now, so like, I don't like that. Hey, he still has one mustache. Yeah, I don't. And on second thought, Kira also has a mustache, and like, I don't want to date my dad. That's kind of gross. Yeah, but your dad has a porn mustache. He has a he has a curly (laughs) mustache. (laughs) So I will attack him with my longbow again. I love my bow. As you're firing, I go. I made your mustache. Uh, that hits. Um, he, okay. You can, roll, you can roll damage you want, but he he all, he had one health, so you he, oh. you will definitely kill him. <laughs> um, uh, See how left. bad you killed him. You you're like I made your mustache, and he goes, "I was born with this." And he, as he's trying to say <laughs> that, the arrow just the arrow goes through <laughs> where his, he's holding his <laughs> arm, and it pins it to him, which you think will be helpful because now he. His wound is covered with his hand, but um, it is also a hand and doesn't stop blood from flowing out, and you just made it worse. So he falls over dead. And, and Leg looks around, and she's like, I gotta get the fuck out of here. Yeah, um, you better run. I move third person is your bit. turn. Oh, God. Leave that woman alone. Nope. It's time to end this. <laughs> Leg is setting my friends against each other. We shall stab her. What do you mean? Wait, where are your what friends? Are <laughs> 23. Uh, that hits. Max damage, oh. 10. Okay, okay, calm down. Oh, shit, is she dead? <laughs> Unnecessary. <No. laughs> As you say, you're turning my friends against me. She goes and tries to do the, the finger touch on your chest like, oh, come on, <laughs> big boy. You don't have to, and you just slice her head off. <laughs> Mitch oh my god! <laughs> she doesn't even finish it. She's like, "Oh come on," and falls over dead. You just you killed all of them. They were just trying to have a nice. They were having a nice time in this room, and you came in and you killed them all. Do you feel good I'd about like yourself? To point out we still don't know who killed Ted. Ted killed Ted. 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 Oh, because oh. he he Ted choked. choked. Yeah. He choked yeah. <laughs> Jared killed Ted. But but Let technically, it, kind no. of Jerry and Jerry killed Ted because they they bullied him into a golden contest. So who's really at fault? <laughs> so uh, before we leave this room, do it. Do, do any of them have gold on them? That um, we can give know? me give me an investigation check. Yeah, to loot the bodies. Obviously. <laughs> um. Well, I don't. I don't want to talk about it. <coughs> um. I got a nat one. Um. <laughs> You can t- you can tell um, that this is a room, and there nice. are bodies in it. I'm officially leaving the Rick and Morty dice behind. <laughs> can can I search the room? Yeah, give me an investigation check. But can I be sneaky about it? Um, uh, let oh, me see if you hit it first. Nope. Yeah. Th- hey, you know this is a room, but you also know this is a bedroom. You see sleeping bags. <laughs> Oh, can I, I can I just like look to. at Handsome Jerry? Can I investigate his body? Yeah, give me investigation. Check. I, okay, I don't care about the room. 
um, he's handsome. Can I? Well, I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> Can I like just drastically search legs? Just mm-hmm. legs. give me a check. You're nasty. <laughs> wow. I really don't said... want you to hit it. Give me an investigation <laughs> check. <laughs> oh, I forgot I had dice in front of me. Um. Wow. You hey, <laughs> you know this is a good roll. This whole fucking game. I just want to put that out. <laughs> Jerry, mourning the death of his beloved, <laughs> st- pushes that aside. Notices. This is a bedroom. They're sleeping bags. They were playing a nice, friendly game of goblins and gizzards that you all interrupted. It's their favorite tabletop role-playing game, um, and you completely ruined that for them. Um, but also, you see that they're um, on the floor next to uh, Leg is a pot of 20 gold pieces, 35 silver, and a key. You can take the gold, but please give the key to someone else. You, I mean, you can also take the board game if you really want. I uh, I pick up the key and put it in my pocket, and I pick up God one of the it. gold pieces and try to chew on it, but I leave the rest there. Um, it is a real gold piece, and it actually hurts your teeth to try to chew on. You also notice that there's a door. Um, there's the door you came in. It's a door mm-hmm. on this side, and there's a door over here. Can I take the game? Yeah. Um, you pick. You pick up the game. Um, Mm -hmm. and, um, because you can, you can speak goblin. You also know that it's goblin gizzards because it's written in goblin. So no one else can tell what it is. Um, it's like way better than D and D. It's like the best game that ever existed. And you actually know that each die in the box is worth one gold piece. And, um, and the board itself is worth, uh, five gold pieces. Just if you want to say it, or you can play it. It's a very popular game. Everyone loves it. I'm, I'm when I say, it, when I'm I say everyone, I mean just goblins. I could be a goblin. Mm-hmm. As you pick up the dice, you have the strong urge to find more dice. That tracks. Yeah, that makes sense. You just, you just, you want more, like many, many more. Like to the point where you're just, you're just looking around the room to see if you can find more. You don't. But now that's your goal in life is to find as many dice as does anybody else want to try to? Oh, you're going to that door? I mean, it's third person left. knows the way. I uh, always go left. No, you can't. I just didn't know if you were moving to get look underneath, or you actually trying to move that way. Do we know which number is which, or do we not know until we go into the room? You don't know until you go. Well, that makes me sad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it matter what number room it is? Because I like even numbers, and I was going to pick off from an even number. Gotcha. If if it makes you feel better, both of these are even numbers. Does that help with your... uh... That that does make me feel better, so I don't care where we go. I'm just following the crew. Can I listen to this door? Um, You go to the door. Um, I won't even make you make a perception. It's it's just quiet in there. Oh, well then I'll open the door. Did no one pick up the rest of the money that Kira left behind? No, no one said they did. God, you're a greedy person. I assume <laughs> can he I... pick it up? He's right next to it. I didn't see anything, so I can't. I rolled on that one. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Kira is the only one that that knows that you saw him. You actually, uh, give me a perception check if you want to see if you see him pick up the the one gold piece because he didn't say out loud that he's picking up gold. He just bent down, picked something up. But anybody who wants to try to make it in my mouth, just saying. Yeah, anyone wants to, to make a perception check to see if they can tell what he picked up can try to do it. I'll make it. Okay. Um, I'll I make will. it a, a ten. I'll make it a ten because I don't think he's trying to be sneaky about it. You see, you see, it is a pile of gold and silver on the ground, and he just picked up one away. God damn it! Can I tell Keith, Keith, can you pick up that gold that Kira left behind, please? See what he picks up, so that it doesn't smell like poop if I take it. Keith, are you picking it up? It's for Dan's college fund. <clears throat> um, what is it? Gold. It's 19 gold pieces and 35 silver pieces. Um, yes, I will. Damn it. Thank you. <laughs> so at, at 19 gold and 35 silver. 19 gold and 25 silver? What? 35 silver pieces. 
35 silver, 19 gold. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you come, this room is silent, but you open the door. Yep. And you step in, and you just see a, a very big mouth <clears throat> on the wall. Oh. It's just, Uh-oh. it's just open. It's got its tongue like out like, but outside of that, it's just, that's, it's just the mouth. You guys should look at this. I don't even know that I can. Surprise! Answer this riddle. You have to do it. S M H D W M. What's next in line? Solve this riddle and something will happen. If you fail, it's bad. What's your answer? I immediately forgot the letters. I just wrote it in chat. Oh, thank you. Thank God. <laughs> what room is this? Four. You can step in if you want. He's not doing anything. He wants you to answer. Can I look around while we think? Mm-hmm. Um, and you all have to collectively make one answer. So you can think about it before you oh. answer. Oh, okay. Can, um, is this like a big room? Can I investigate the room? Maybe mm-hmm. there's clues? Mm-hmm. Investigate it. <clears throat> well, yeah, do we have to get in there to investigate it? I mean, Birdman isn't, or Bird Person isn't it. I mean, yeah, you can, like, he's just on the wall. He's not moving. He's just waiting for you to answer the riddle. Can I roll for the investigation? Are we investigate. all rolling for it? <laughs> Whoever yeah, wants to roll like, for it. I'm going to look around as well. Oh. Yeah. I get a six. I have a fifteen. I'll roll two. I'm so glad that was actually digital. Oh, <laughs> Four. Hey guys, I think Jerry's the answer. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. There's nothing in the room, but I um I love to respect the Nat twenty. Um, <laughs> so um you 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 all look around, Keith, Bert, uh, person, and Ari. All you see is the mouth. You're focused on his dang old mouth. You're like, <laughs> is that is that spit? Is that slime? What is that coming out of his mouth? Uh, if I... Sorry. <laughs> You're fine. <It> just... <laughs> <laughs> um, Leanne, what did you get? A 15? Yes. Um, you you actually can look around and not see just the mouth, um, but you're struggling to find anything in the room specifically, especially because you're just in the doorway and the mouth is talking of you. Um, Kira, who has came in the room, sees a small little calendar um, to the side of um, the mouth, and you see that the calendar is broken down. It's it's like one of those uh, clock kind of calendars where it has the time and the date. Um, and so you see that it has the little second hand, the minute hand, the hour hand, and then underneath it, it has, uh, the date. Um, it has, uh, what looks to be the, the week of the time that it is, um, the month lined up, and then you see a part at the end that's missing. Oh, okay. Okay. Is it year? Talking to the group? I move closer to the group. I'm not smart. I don't know if it's true or not. I'm bad with riddles. Yeah, I was going to say, this was a bad one to give to the wizard, Jerry. Well, you you tell us about seeing that. Are you pointing that out? Like, yeah, I'm pointing out this okay. puzzle, and I'm saying, hey, figure out what this means. I, hey, I found a clue. S-M-H-D-W-M. Second, or, uh, second minute hour, Sunday. day, week, month. Oh, year. it's kind year. of a year, right? Yeah, that's so, what I, th- I thought. Mm-hmm. So why? Yeah, it's as gotta you, be a why. Yeah. Um, as you say why, um, the the mouth smiles and spits out 50 gold pieces. Ooh. Oh. So I why get that because I said it correct first, right? Like, that's mine? Whoever wants to pick it up, it's just 50 gold pieces. If you you can see the slimy gold, gold I guess. Well, uh, you, you'll take poopy gold, but not slimy gold, huh? <laughs> That's where your well, cutoff I got, is. I, I am got nice. I am nice to my party, and I'm willing to split it. <clears throat> however, the DM wants to split it. 
Uh, it's how you guys want to split it. It's 50 gold pieces. Five no, I'm, I'm, pieces. Giving, I'm giving it to the DM to make it happen. Split you, it up. I'm, I, can, I can tell you what, you what even is. It's 10, but don't you don't have do to that. do Okay, then it's 10 gold each. <laughs> <laughs> You uh, trying, trying that. And and I will say, magically, as he spits it out, it's not slimy. Yeah. You don't know, you don't know it how it's not slimy. No. He just, he smiles and he, it, 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 he magically hawks it out. And it's just go, just 50 gold clean pieces on the ground. Considering how the floor looks around him, you're surprised it's not slimy, but it's not. You also see a door. Oh, I'm not on the mouse. You also see a door down here. Now that you're not staring at the big old mouth. Is there, is the mouth still on the wall? Yeah. The okay. mouth is the what wall. What are you going to do? And it's just, it's just like smiling at you now. Okay. It looks do very pleased with it. itself. Do not, what? I'm sorry. Don't touch it. Okay. Thank you. You could touch it. I think the, the chaos Don't should happen. Don't you dare. I would like to whip out Dan and send Dan to over to my mother for a little kiss, thanking you for the gold. Dan comes over and he goes, kisses. And he, he tries to kiss you, but his nose is way too long. And so he kind of is a very awkward kiss, but he does kiss you on the cheek. I just smile and pat him cute. on the head. When Dan's flying back by me, I just push him a little bit. He kisses at you. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Kerr. <laughs> Nobody fucking likes Kerr. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna. All right. I'm gonna, we uh, kicking off. Fuck this room. Absolutely. I'm gonna walk into the mouth. <laughs> You're just walking into it. You're just walking into it. Into it. Is there a throat? Is there is there oh, abyss? Gosh. Is there teeth? What do we got? Um, is there throat? My favorite question then <laughs> today. <laughs> <laughs> Exclamation point add quote. <laughs> Have you step into his slime? You take six points mm -hmm. of shame damage. Fuck. Oh no, are you dead? <laughs> got him. He's down again. I don't know why you touched him out. <laughs> Um, and I want to point out. I want to point out. Says if a character is stupid enough to go to mouth, have a, any moron who touches it take get licked and take shame damage. Way to go, Jerry. Um, I don't have any heals left. Um, do you, do you have um, spare the dying? Do I have what? Spare the dying as a cantrip. Um, no, I have light, sacred flame, and traumaturgy. Um, one of you can try to do a medicine check on him, at least bring him back plus, up the wall. I have plus five medicine. Hold on, let me try. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna look at him and roll my eyes, and uh, I just got a natural twenty. So I'm gonna put my hand on his shoulder and just shake my head and say, "Will you stop being a fucking idiot?" I will. <laughs> I will let you with. I will let you with a natural twenty pull uh pull him back before any of the nasty lip slime stuff gets too deep in him and he, I will actually let you get he doesn't take damage from him. He starts to go down, but you like pull him back and so he has his four hit points back. So you guys know people call this validation? <laughs> I'll continue to do stupid things because y'all continue a little to save me for it. <laughs> Wow. I'm not I'm not gonna lie. When you asked about the mouth, I was like, I feel like I know which yeah. which one is gonna be the more <laughs> and I'm for it. It's always gonna be Kerr. Uh, Keith, are you going through that door? Everybody's done fucking around, then yes. Oh you can, I mean you don't have to stay with the following them. bird person. You can go through any oh, door then, you yep. want. Um, you step into yep. a hallway. Oh, it's it's a hallway. But you do see another door at the end. Yeah, I'm following bird person. Yeah, I'm Chasing following bird party. person too. <laughs> With the party. If anything happens to Dan, you're dead. Shit. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, Morty. 
<laughs> hey, Morty, in- we're in the same room we were already in. Yeah, you go to in the hall, and it's just a statue room. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Then we just go running down the hall trying to catch the rest of the party. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, bird person, are you going right, to that yeah. door? Yeah, I want to listen to the door. Uh, you don't hear anything inside. And I will open the door. You try to open it, it's locked. <coughs> if only you had a key. Dear God damn it, can you open the Ooh. stupid door? You don't know he has a key. You oh, I don't know He didn't say it out loud. This door is locked. The key in the gold. Well, can I try to lockpick it? Actually, I guess I yeah. don't have anything to lockpick it with. Then no, you can't. I wish I could. I'm not. I mean, somebody else, don't somebody know. else does, somebody else does have something that can lockpick it. <laughs> or, you know, somebody who might have a key. <laughs> I silently unlock the door while trying to draw everybody's attention to the other side of the room. Oh, look at that dead body. And everybody's like, we saw the dead body. We killed them. Um, uh, oh, you walk- I, 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 I wiggled it and it opened, guys. <laughs> oh, um, would you look at that? Oh, uh, pricey. Here's a liar. This dusty old room is a sweet-ass treasure chest. <laughs> and you sense that blink is imminent. I open the chest. Um, of course you do. Um, <laughs> no, he, is there a riddle? He he flicked it open. Um, he didn't even try. Uh, Jerry, give me a deck save. Deck save. All right. What room is this? Six. Yes. It's a fucking you, snake uh, in the box, isn't there? No. Mm-hmm. Um, but you made it, so you're fine. Um, Hell yeah. I, really, made I, I, I wrote it and I, I was really hoping you didn't make it to down. Um, you, you flick the chest open, not looking to see if it's trapped whatsoever. And as you open it, a, a butt saw pops out of the chest. But just as it's finna come and cut you, you jump back out of the way. After a second, the butt saw goes away. No. Oh. That's... Wait, hold on. Did yeah, okay. Someone saved me. What am I at for health points now? Just one four points. You're at four. four. Okay. Um, I never updated that. Inside, and the, I just the... looked up and it said I was dead. Yeah. Um. So, uh, the bus saw is gone. Do you want to look in a chest? Uh, yes. Um, inside the chest, you find two hundred and ten pieces of gold, four hundred and ten pieces of silver, three pieces of. I'm never going to say this right, but it's the EP one. Like I'm that. not even going to. I'm, I'm not attempting it. <laughs> um, <laughs> two potions of healing, and a fake ruby that smells like fresh baked cherry pie. All right. As All right, the what smelly was the last person, thing? can I have the ruby? The ruby that um, smells like what? It's a fre- it's a fake ruby that smells like fresh baked cherry pie, and you and Jerry, you can't or uh, Curry, you can't tell. Why? Um, I mean, you can try to check to see why it smells like cherry pie, but you can tell that there's some type of magic on the ruby. Okay. So it is a magic um, ruby. I'm going to take the ruby and split up the rest of the loot amongst everybody. <laughs> okay. Hold on, let me do math. What are you doing for the potions of healing? Are you keeping those? I'm I'm keeping one. The other one can go to somebody at random. There was two, right? Yeah. yeah. So everyone gets forty-two gold. You're splitting it evenly, right? Yeah. Okay. So forty-two gold. Except for Morty. No, okay. <laughs> I messed that up. Four ten divided. That's by fucked five. up. Nope. Four ten divided by five. Eighty-two pieces of silver. Um, and then who do you want to give the the three? Uh, I'm not going to say it. Uh, pieces mm-hmm. to. EP. Real quick, how many silver did you say? 42? 82. 82. 42 gold, 82 silver. Okay. And then Electro? Yep. Yeah. You have three pieces. Who do you want to give it to? Who do you like the most? Um, it's going to be one to me, one to my wife, and one bird person. Yay. 
Are you going to drink? I love their priorities. Yeah. Everybody loves Electrum. <laughs> It's <laughs> the most useless piece of, of stuff inside any D and D game. We all it works in one city. Okay, <laughs> Find but, it and then you can spend it. Who's getting the other I'm I'm writing this down in the notes. Who's getting the other potion of healing? Kerr gets one and who's getting the other? Uh Anne. Who? Did you say Dan? Leanne. Oh Leanne. So your wife, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I was like, please don't give it to him. That's a waste. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Dan is family. Come on. I should have given all of the electrum to Dan. <laughs> you could have. I should have. You still can if you want to. <laughs> How? I already handed it. I already told it to give to everybody. I mean, it's not hard to take out if you wanted to do it for the, the means. Nah. Nah. It's all right. Once you make a decision, yeah. you gotta stick with it. I like that. And then um, just write down that you have a magic root. You can you can write that it smells like freshly baked cherry pie if you want to keep that in your mental, but just make sure that you remember that you have a magic ruby. How do I add like specific things? Under the um, I can show him while you, um, I'm okay. Yeah. If you want. Yeah. He please go show him. Um, and so. After you look at the chest, the chest is just fine now. It had the one trap that you could have disarmed, but you know, no one checked the tra the chest before you opened the lid. Um, <laughs> uh -huh. well, Curl. So. What do you think we are? Uh, Dabs, what did you? I said so. Dabs, what did you call that artifact? Is it something I should be able to put in, or do I have to do it manually? Just put magic ruby. Okay. It it won't be inside the. Um, D and D Beyond. In parentheses, cherry pie. Yeah, yes, no like cherry pie. Fresh baked cherry pie. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you see the door you came in, then you see another door here. That's the only way out of this room. You should obviously give that ruby to Ari because add to her smells. That's what I said, but nobody <laughs> listened to me. I'm but not it's a, magic. Uh... Yes, it smells like cherry pie, but what else can? If only somebody had like. The tech Nobody wants something. poopy pie. You don't know that. They're all live. I thought it was, was just world. a uh I thought it was just a air freshener. <laughs> An I mean, air it, could freshener. Be, it could be. You don't know what it is. No one checked it. You just know what it smells like and you feel the magic off. It. Well, to be fair, I think I'm the only one that knows about it. Yeah. Can I do a perception check and see if I realize that he has a magical ruby? Um, do a perception check and uh here do a self check. Uh, where's self? I also uh, wanted to. Or, I know uh, there's nothing. Whoa, sorry, also, way also, too many sorry. Words. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Also, not uh, stealth, sleight of hand. Sorry. No, right. no, no. I, I okay. saw nothing. I saw nothing. You could roll on that one. I want to. Um, I want to ch also try to perceive because I mean he gave me some gold, so like I was close to the loot. I have a sixteen. Bird, uh, bird person, and yeah, both see him pick up this ruby, stuff in his pocket before he goes. Like, look, I found gold, and hands it out to you. <laughs> which, uh, uh, what you doing that ruby there, Kurt? I, uh, I slide it down the front of my pants. <laughs> and just walk away. And just is walk it, away, whistling. Is it fancy? Wait, hold on. I I don't let you walk away. You're my husband. That doesn't stop me. I follow after you <laughs> and I put my hand on your pants for the ruby. <laughs> Ew. I just stand there defeated. Not here. <laughs> I pull the ruby out of his guy. pants. <laughs> She's got my crown jewels. So, um, do do a, yeah. do a post check. You can pick whether you're doing acrobatics or um athletics to see if you can get it out and if you can resist her getting it out. Okay, so which one do I have to do? You can pick either athletic or acrobatic. Same thing with you, um, Leanne. You can pick okay, either gonna, acrobatics or, or acrobatics. Yeah. Oh, because I'm huh? Keith and I don't. Ooh. Keith and I don't know what's going on, so we just see you shove your hand into his hands, and we think it's nasty. Yeah. I roll a fifteen plus four, so that's nineteen. How do we mute her? Sorry, my mom came in. Um, what did you get? What did you get? Um, yeah, I she got, got a nineteen. 
Nice. Oh, you take it out. You take it out. <laughs> Snatch it out. I uh, I whip the ruby out of his pants and I turn to bird person and say, "Does anything look odd about this ruby?" And I hand it over to him. <coughs> Smells like her and tre- fresh baked cherry pie. <laughs> if you wanna, if you want to wait ten minutes, I could find out more. And I'm just standing over in the corner, nodding with a weird maniacal smile on my face. <laughs> You have time if you want to wait 10 minutes and, and do it. You have to take magic? Yeah, I have to take magic. I can cast this as ritual so it doesn't take up a spell slot. Okay, so you guys wait around 10 minutes and a bird person is just holding in his hand, like swaying to the side, like trying to tune with it. And uh, you you agree with her. It is magical. It just has pressure digitation cast on it. It's nothing else on it. Oh. It's just a ruby that smells. Mm-hmm. That is, that is what this is. It is a ruby that smells. Oh, I take like it fresh back. Like cherry pie. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry goes. I could have told you that. I, I you take didn't. it back. I oh. take it back from bird person, and I shove it back into Jerry's pants or uh, into Kerr's pants, and I just pat him pants? lightly on the back <laughs> and walk away. <laughs> but these goblins had chocolate. Gold and now a ruby that smells like cherry pie. What the fuck is wrong with them? What's wrong with Did they seem like the most competent people to you? <laughs> like to point out that you're also so in a party now. with a guy that has almost lost to every one of them, <laughs> <laughs> and someone who smells like shit. So who are the hey, real idiots? Hey, you smell, but you've got money, so. Oh yeah. Hey, hey, can I send Dan to go get the ruby? Um, Whoa. Adam, Why? <laughs> make make a post check yep. to try to get it out. Um, so you know, um, Dan's uh save to add to it is uh a plus three. And I have to do what? All right. What do I roll? You can either roll acrobatics or well, you for you um you would just roll a d twenty and add a three. Um, Kurt, you would try to do a post so either athletics. or acrobatics to try to make him not get it. So if you um see on inside uh D Beyond uh Keith on the side at the bottom you can just click that dice and select with dice. I don't know if you've done it before but the top one is D twenty. If you just roll that then we'll add three. Ah so this. Mm-hmm. Oh Rip. <laughs> Dan tries to go and stick his nose down your father's <laughs> pants. <laughs> <laughs> Me swats him away. I did not swats think that that the would be any statement in this session <laughs> at all. I'm for it. <laughs> I wasn't going to go region for it, so. You never know. <laughs> Imagine where the reach. places we could have gone if we didn't kill Leg. <laughs> I hope Dan nipped something. <laughs> he didn't. He, he didn't even get his beak down. He tried to. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't Dan um, have a bad beak? No, he was the one no, that did it. He, no, no. he got snatched oh, okay. up before you guys started smacking him. <laughs> <on. laughs> yeah. Uh, Dan does notice that his beak is longer. Longer than what? Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, that's how you do Let's go, Dan. I just Will that help him by meeting? Oh, I did. Do you, do you walk through the door? Yeah, do we oh, walk yeah. through Absolutely. the door? Absolutely, we're walking through that door. We're yep. getting out of this fucking yep. room. This shit was getting weird. The okay. In this room, okay. <laughs> uh, did you guys move to the next screen to make sure I did that right? Uh, are you yes, are you dark I again? Can tell so, where yes. we are. I see yeah. just okay. black. Yeah. yeah. Good. Okay. I can. I can Good. I see nothing. Uh, yeah. Oh. Okay. Um, <laughs> we're at the top left now. So you step into the next room and you see a pair of perfectly brown stone mounds <laughs> cleft artfully straight down the middle and it kind of fills the room. Um, I didn't make it this big on here because I'm classy. 
But no, it's big. And it looks like a big butt from where you're standing. It's something shiny glitched uh, in the center sure. of it down the cliff. That's where I was going to go. <laughs> There's something shiny that glints down the down um from the center above where the cleft is. It's about four or five feet um from what you can only describe as a foot. Just calling it like I see it here, folks. Do you want to do anything with the big booty? Sorry. I wanna to touch it. I'm invest I'm investigating. Can I spank um, it? Uh, <laughs> you can spank it, you can touch it, and you can give me an investigation check. <laughs> yeah, I will do that. While we you just are investigating check the butt. Yep. <laughs> Wait, do I have to roll for While you touch it? the butt? No, you can just hit you can just hit the butt. It's just stone. Okay. I, I spank oh. it. <laughs> I, I spank it sexually. Like I, I do a little bit like a a love tap and then rub it afterwards. Um you see um that the shiny thing in the crack is written in common, so you all can read it if you want to. Um but if uh you kind of you kind of have to clamp her up to get close enough to see it fully, but from where you can see it, it kind of says say goodbye to your butts. So no, um my butt. Ari, make a make a deck save. Why me? Because you read it. God damn it. <laughs> And uh, what room know. is this? Uh, ten. Okay. Um, you you try to move back as you see it says "say goodbye to your butt," and your butt is just gone. You have no butt. Uh oh. So guys, uh, um, this is that I would ironic. be careful hey, if I were you. Hey, on, on the bright side, it didn't hurt. You just don't have a butt anymore. Think about how ironic My... this is. She smells like shit and she yeah. doesn't have a butt. And I have no butt. Yeah, you have no yeah. butt. You ain't got no ass, but why you smell like Did shit? Did anybody else want to go and, and try to touch the butt? I'm going to back away from the butt. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to read this other what, door what over here. there? Not after what happened to you. <laughs> I'm guessing I don't have a butt here <laughs> because I spanked it. You uh, what did you get on your spank? What? Oh, you didn't roll anything for Spain. I didn't make you roll it. You just no. touched it. You didn't, you didn't read it. Okay. Yeah, I, just, I read I, it. So I, I move away then after spanking it. Feeling I very satisfied myself. with myself. You just, you just, at, basically what you all see, um, as Ari just noticed her butt is gone, all you guys see is like the cleft opens up and it looks like the butt sucked <gasps> in her butt. Ew! Wow. That's a very Rick and Morty thing to do. That was weird. Let's go, now guys. You, now you smell like Looks shit. Like you have no time. butt. <laughs> Done with this like shit room. No butt. Is there nothing more in the room? No. The big butt? No one told you to touch My the ass. butt. <laughs> you could have just left. <laughs> could have just walked right around the butt and kept on moving, guys. <laughs> no one told you to mess with it. You see a big button. You just have to touch the butt. <laughs> Always have to touch yep. the butt. What else were we supposed to do? <laughs> nothing. Not touch the butt. <laughs> didn't you ever listen to Marlin? No. Oh, nope. I didn't mean. I didn't. Fine. You're just not supposed to read the inside. Um, ignore this. I didn't mean to highlight. I just meant the. There's a hallway, and you see a door over here and a door down here. I'm gonna go to this one. Of course <laughs> okay. you are. Let's go. I have no butt. What else can I lose? Let's go. <laughs> see, summer's getting into it now. <laughs> so I am no longer a person. Are you gonna open a door? Because you don't have a butt. Um, I open this door. Yes. Well, what have we here? Let's take a look. Some kind of designs are carved into the relief on the floor, which is this. In from above, you realize that these designs are actually dozens of tiny hallways connected to tiny rooms. Some have oh. teensy treasure chests, while others have featured tiny traps that would have trouble catching a mouse. But it's not just mice these traps are out for. They trail off dramatically. Oh, sorry. That was a note to myself. I should have read that out. Um, <laughs> in, in the thing, you see an adventure party that has a tiny cleric, a tiny fighter, a tiny rogue, and a tiny wizard cheerfully slogging their way through the dungeons. You also see on the stone floor outside of, of 
the little maze, a minuscule dungeon of the minuscule dungeon, um, a green dragon wooden figure, an org, a spider, and a zombie. What do you Nothing do? in here, guys. Okay. Can I look closer at it? Let's see if it kills me. Uh, do an investigation check. Of course I will. <laughs> Don't My worry. My favorite thing to do. God fucking damn it. It's, it's amazing. Is it? from uh, 14. It's a maze and it's figurines. And you, I mean, you can play with it. You can put the stuff in. You can not put the stuff in. You can try to take stuff out. You can do whatever you want. It's a maze. Can I, can I call... Leanne to come check on this because she's the smartest one. Mm -hmm. What am I rolling? Mom, can you uh, help roll, me? Roll investigation. Why do you want to ask her for help? Um, you probably shouldn't have asked me for this help. Um, five. It's a maze well, and it's figurines and you can put them inside the maze <laughs> or you can keep them outside the maze. Um, can I look over at her and encourage him to move one of the figurines into the maze. Yeah, you can. You can. If either he can just do it, or if he's resisting, you can play it. Oh no, I, I want to encourage him to do it. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> which which figurine do you put in there? The dragon, the org, the spider, or the zombie, or all of them? Uh, the zombie. The zombie. So you put the zombie inside the the maze, and it goes and it starts attacking the little adventure party. Um, and they defeat the zombie. They do like a little small oh, cheer and then they keep moving. Guys, I think that was our sign to keep moving, not play with this bit crazy ass game. It's like a bad idea, whatever this is. I think we should try another uh, figurine. I don't know. I think we should try another figurine. Of course he does. What figurines are there? It's a dragon, it's an ogre, a spider, and a zombie. Oh, I'm doing another one. I, I think we should do a dragon. No, uh, let's, let's build up. Guess oh, what? Too late. Ogre. Ogre? <laughs> uh, are you going yeah, at the same late. time? Do you put the ogre and the dragon in? Uh, I didn't put anything in. I was just saying my opinion. Oh, okay. Keith put, you put the, the ogre in. Uh, you put yep. the ogre in, and the ogre destroys them completely. And they, they like, low. teleport back to the beginning of it and have to start over. Hmm. Once, okay. once you oh, see that, that once, hold on. Once you see that the the tiny adventure party dies and wipes, you see a little mini chest pop up, and it becomes a real chest inside the room. Um. Hey. Do I Ooh. see this happening? Yeah, it just pops out. Can I um say to the party that I think it's kind of a indicator of what might be happening going forward? And that we should see the other two figurines too. Before. A part should of we game. investigate I'm this chest it. first, and then do the figurines? Or yeah, she's like, I just want my loot. There, is there a chest in this room right now? I thought it was just yeah. Like a, okay. No, you destroyed the you destroyed the party, and then one of the mini chests that was in the room popped out of the board, okay. and it became a real chest in the room. Yeah, so I think we have to kill the, our own party in this <clears> little <throat> diorama thing in order to keep getting chests. So what is in the yes? Let's let's look at the chest then. I misunderstood. I'm with that. Are you opening it? Somebody said they were. Who's going opening to. it? You said I, investigating I feel, it. To be I fair, I feel like we should invest. Yeah. Yeah. I would. Say. Okay. Yeah. You investigate it. I think. All right. Open it. Actually, don't do investigation. Do perception. It's the, it's the oh, same okay. thing. I like that. I, yeah, you're. I like you're trying to see if this traps. I'm assuming. It's that would be perception. <laughs> Just I, I see nothing. We should have Wait, hold on. Who's, who's rolling? Yeah, anybody who wants to roll perception. I have, just... I have plus five on it, so I'm going to roll. <laughs> <laughs> I got a nat one. Ari, you see it's a chest. I've got a nat one. We both yeah, got a nat one. What's going on? You see it's a chest. I'm rolling. Slowly but surely. Still rolling. Didn't you pull out your dice? Yep. Still playing with the one on the computer, though. That's why. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, there's no traps on this one. You're being really paranoid for no reason. 
Oh, yeah, I just opened I'm the opening chest. it. It's my <laughs> chest. <laughs> you both fight over who opens the chest, and when you open it, it's a wand. What's in it? Sorry. It's a wand. A wand. What kind no. of wand? What kind of wand? You need to figure out, but it is a wand. In it. Ooh, a wand, huh? Another perception check. That means uh, nothing to me. You guys can keep it. <laughs> you don't have to re-roll it. it with, a net, with a net 20, you can tell it's a magic wand. You don't know what's a magic wand. Oh, gee, as long as it's Either not you a can fucking kinetic wand where I can just beat the fuck out of somebody with a stick. You can test it out to see what happens, or you can give it to somebody who might be able to, I don't know, detect magic. That's what it is. Pull it out and give it to Dan. <laughs> Dan oh, looks at it like when bird person can physically detect magic. Scourge, <laughs> does Dan. Have hands. Dan, Dan picks it up and hands it to to Keith. Yeah. <laughs> he hates you. Why did you give it to Dan? <laughs> <laughs> All right, bird person. What the fuck is this shit? Right. I'll ritually cast tech magic again. Yeah, ten minutes happens again. You see that it's a wand of magic missile. Oh. Oh. Neat. Oh. So you can the, the wand has seven charges, and when you use it as an action, you'll expand one of its charges, but you can cast magic missile as as a first level spell. Um every time you use it though, um I get to roll a dice and see if it disappears. But if it disappears, you can use your detect magic to try to find it. Hmm. Alright. Seems like something that could have been really great in Dan's hands. I mean, Dan can still have it. <laughs> Dan doesn't have hands. Yeah, can I get that thing back? It's ours now. <laughs> Dan can put it in his mouth. I don't, I don't know if he can be like, Bleh. but I mean, <laughs> you really want to give it to Dan. <laughs> I'm not gonna stop you from it. it. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it down. I'll keep on it safe. <laughs> and whoever wants it can take it. Dan, stick it. See? Goes to Dan. Yeah. You walk no. down here, dear? Or uh Kerr. Kerr. Yeah, I started down the down the hallway. Wait, um, hold on. We have two more figurines. Are we, we not have figure to figure what those are? Yeah. Oh, we he, do? he walked through the door. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I walked through the door. It's cool. <laughs> nah, we Kurt, can keep putting ahead. things there and he can do whatever he wants. Die if you I, want to. Um, I opened we'll the door and the light started shining and I got scared and ran back to the figurine. <laughs> <laughs> that, Which uh, one are you putting in there? Can we see what the dragon does? You put the dragon in dragon, there. It, dragon. Kills, it, it kills the whole party. Um, and it pops them back to the beginning again, but no chest pops up. Oh. What if the party in the maze gets stronger as you go through monster figures? Uh, do an investigation check. Okay. Mm. Oh, wow. Uh, uh Wow. Uh, you notice that once you kill the party once, you get one treasure chest, and you no longer get any more treasure chest. And stop messing with my figurine. Oh, so we're just done. Okay. Oh, I yep. say I say we just send them all then. One last I agree go. With every one of them that we have left in there at once. Um, you put you put them all in there, and it when you put all the enemies in there, the whole board melts into the ground. Oh, yep. See, game over. Right. Oh, I wanted to steal one of the figurines. <laughs> I was waiting Should've for you guys to do that up. before you found the chest. I was like, <laughs> that's why I was like, are you putting more than one? <laughs> Could you just put the right. dragon? Like, fuck this shit. I'm out. I follow. Uh, you left Dan behind. Dan, Dan's there in his heart. We all know Dan. Oh um, as you step into the next room, you see that it's it's everything is an odd, um, uh, it, it's an odd shaped room, and everything is white, like the walls, floor, the ceiling, everything except for the four doors. So the one you came in, and then the two here, and one here. They're a different color, and then you see, um, a stressed looking lady 
seated at a cheap desk, writing furiously on a piece of paper. Or actually, like, it's a parchment, and she's got, like, an inkwell and a quill pen. I'm going to ask the again, what room number? I'm sorry. Eight. A second after you open the door and the, all of you walk in, the room elongates, and it's, like, 100 feet long. Um, I'm not going to expand the map. We can all use our imagination. This room is huge now. Okay. And she's just writing fiercely. Uh, can I offer some chocolate? As soon as you talk to her, she writes something else down, and all the doors disappear. <gasps> now what? I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna investigate what I can see of the room. I don't know how far we can go though. Uh, okay. Give me an investigation check. From what you can tell, um, uh, uh, who I'm going to qualify as the writer now. Uh, she is trying to finish this part of the dungeon. So whatever she writes on the parchment happens in the room. As long as she's able to write, she's going to continue to change the room and throw obstacles at the party. I so, say we kill her. To, Can I well, shoot an arrow at her hand? I will, oh, before well, anybody does anything. I was going to ask if we could talk to her. You, you can't. No, you can. <laughs> but before anybody does anything, we need to roll initiative that she I, has to write in. I can so, so we're not, you can fight her, but we're not necessarily fighting. I just need to see See when I need to roll for her to change the room. So everybody roll initiative. Oh, just so I have me. ten. She got a nat one. She's one. But keep keep telling me so I can know the order of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I, got a, I got a nat two. So you got a ten. Uh, you got a four. Oh, that yeah, That's this fine. Uh, that was Kurt, not Keith. You got a Kurt. Keith got fifteen. Uh, Ari got an eighteen. Uh, bird person, do you roll a 19? Mm -hmm. So bird person is first. Um, who wrote the perception? For, uh, investigation, I mean? Uh, I did. Sure. Um, so you can tell, what I also will give you is, it's it's not necessarily her that has the power, it's the parchment and the ink she's using. But if you can stop her from writing, then the room will stop changing. How you want to do that is up to you. Is is third person's turn first? So far, the only thing she's changed is she made the door. Um. You said she's a hundred feet away. Like she's what? Feet yeah, the she's like she, hundred feet long and no doors. So. Yeah. She's okay. a, she, if the room's 100 feet, there's, all the doors are gone, and you guys are at the other end. Made 100 feet, stay away from her so she can be writing. Dear writer, we need a way out of this room, the safest way, if we can. Would you help us, please? You're trying Try to persuade her? Persuade her, yeah. Keep me a persuasion check. Wah, wah. Nine. Um, she looks at you and just continues to look at the piece of paper. I was trying to see if anything happens when you fail. It does <laughs> not. That's not fun. Um, okay. <laughs> I can only change the room on her turn. Sad. Um, <laughs> Ari, it is your turn. You say she can change the room, right? Mm hmm Can I ask her to make me a pawn so I can sh clean the shit out of myself? Yeah. Give me a persuasion check. Will do. She writes a pond down. There's a there's a small pond next to you now. Wonderful. Holy crap, poopy piss is gonna be cleaned. <laughs> so I get in the pond and I shower in that that ends my I'm I'm bathing while you guys are trying to finish this. Thank you. Okay. You're not poopy anymore. <laughs> Thank you. Um, it is now I took poop your name. It is now Keith's turn. 
pieces. Simply, the shit smell is gone. <laughs> now we just got to get rid of the pee stains on Kerr's pants. I mean, he's next to the war. You can get in. <laughs> hmm. What to do, what to do, what to do. I'm going to try to persuade her and yeah. to tell me how her magic works. Okay. Make a persuade check. If I can find it. Should be him. Oh, you got it. Um. Okay, so that's one success. She uh. She hesitates, looks up at you, um, and says, uh, uh, "I don't know. I just write, and things happen, and the room shrinks a little bit." Making leeway, but yeah, that would be the end of my turn. Okay, now it is. Now it is. Lion's turn. I'm probably going to keep changing your name. Said it. Um, I'm going to move just a little bit closer because obviously we're at the end of the room and mm -hmm. I can't. I want to be a little bit closer and I'm going to try to, um, I'm going to try to intimidate her into, uh, giving or at least coming towards me to, uh, hand over the, the parchment and the, the pen. But I was only able to move 35 feet, so I'm doing it from afar. Okay, make an intimidation check. I got a nine. She she doesn't even pay attention to you. She just keeps <laughs> scribbling. <laughs> Here is your turn. Uh, um... I'm... Oh, wait. Uh, one second before you go. I just realized you moved into the room. Uh, um, Next to you, as you moved into the room, freak out orbs pop up. Fuck is a freak what out orbs? orbs? Freak out orbs? They're just magic orbs, and they're like buzzing around the room and flashing psychedelic patterns that freak people. So um, I need you to make a DC-12 wisdom saving throw. I forgot said, you walked into the You said wisdom saving throw? Yeah. You can you can make it. It's cool. How do I do that? It's just it's just uh D twelve. Leanne. Or? It's just Leanne because she walked into oh, the room. Okay. Did I do that right? Uh yeah, you passed. But now it's now it's a random orb in the room. But you did uh, hey. At least you didn't make it. Well, technically, you did make it worse, but not not as worse as it could have been. Now it's, it's just a disco light then. in here. Yeah, now it's your turn. Great. I'm going to walk over to the pond and um, throw Summer out of it because I don't want to share a bathtub with her and I'm going <laughs> to drop it in the pond so I can clean these pee stains off my suit. You are also clean now. You're not no longer pee boy. <laughs> Now so I had to crawl into the poopy water. Um, now you see uh, just a, a gas starts filling the room. So I need you all to make a constitution saving. Okay, you pass, you pass, you pass. Shut up, all of you. <laughs> I don't see yours yet. You could have passed. We don't... Okay, you didn't. Um... <laughs> Leanne, what did you get? I got a 18. <laughs> oh, you also passed. It's not bad. Um, Cure just busts out and starts laughing. Like, he cannot control um, his giggles. We don't know if it's because it's just the farting sound that's making him laugh or if the gas is making him laugh. Um, but he is he is laughing and you can't Make another. You can't play it for three rounds. Sorry, I wrote really good on the dice. 
So you're just laughing for three rounds. In the water, as you're trying to bathe, they're just cracking up laughing. <laughs> That's boring, hey, bro, but at like least you're clean. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> per person, it's your turn. Adorable. All right. Um... I'm gonna move as close to her as I can. Um, as you move forward, you can still do your turn, but um, you see that chunks of the ceiling start falling down at regular. Angles. So I'm going to need you to make a deck save. You got it. But don't worry, you'll totally hit it. Okay. No, I you, won't. <laughs> you, uh, you take one damage because I wrote I wrote bad. Um, but now the ceiling's just dropping chunks. But you can still do what you want to do. Close to her now. Am I within arm's reach of the desk? Um, what's, what's your uh, speed? Uh, I'm only at 30, but I can move and I'll can take a dash action to get there. Um, then yes, you will be by the desk. Okay. Then yeah, I'll move and dash and leave it at that. Okay. Um, it is Ari's turn. You're no longer poopy. Yay. Welcome back to society. <laughs> I still have no butt, so... Can I ask mm. her to give me a butt? Oh, no, it's just a room. Yeah, she can only change the room. You're not a you room. Can only change the room. <laughs> I could be a room. Make me a room. <laughs> <laughs> Make me a room. Um... I'm going to ask her, if again, if she can help us get out of here. Okay, so she can finish me... her story in peace, and we won't bother her anymore. Okay, give me a persuasion check. Oh, God, I just, I shouldn't talk to people. Hey, at least you're not talking at disadvantage anymore. Don't smell like shit. She just doesn't hear you because you're too far away. Damn it. You should move closer. Nothing can possibly can go I move by. Closer? I mean, you can. If you want to. I mean, let's see if the ceiling falls on me. Yeah, I'll move closer to her. Um, As you move closer, hold on, let me roll to see how many rounds. Just for the next round, you feel like you are um completely hammered. So <laughs> nice. <laughs> so also give me a dex check to see if you fall on your butt. That I don't have. That she doesn't have. Yeah, but you can fall on the slide that's supposed to be your butt. Um, you fall on the ground. And you just you just you you look like those people who are uh uh, their friends try to get them out of the club because they clearly went too far, and but they can't fully stand up, and you're just on the ground trying to do it. But hey, you don't smell like poop anymore. Nice. I have no dignity in this game. <laughs> <laughs> you have money. Who needs dignity? Keith, it's your turn. <laughs> that is a good point. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to try to persuade her, too. I'm going to whip out Dan, show her what a lovely plate I have, and see if she'll show us the way out. Uh, roll persuasion at advantage. So roll it twice. Take the higher one. Dan's a cutie. Oh, shit. Roll it to see if you crit. No. But you did succeed. Um, so as, as you pull out Dan, she, uh, she looks over at you, and she's she looks like she's almost won over. Like if one more person like convinced her that she would stop writing. Hey, it let's is. go, Dan. It is Lyanne's turn. I'm gonna move as close as I can with my 35 feet, uh, and I'm gonna try to intimidate her again because I don't like um, that she's changing this room around us. As you walk forward, I need you to make a deck set. <laughs> so about that um, you, you were <laughs> teleported back to the beginning of the room 
I am so drunk and I find all of this so funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least I didn't get any hit points taken away. So you can try to yell down the hall to see if you can intimidate her, but you're back at the beginning of the room. <laughs> oh, I'm 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 down. I'm like yelling from the other other side of the room. Okay, give me a intimidation check. <laughs> Sixteen plus three, so nineteen. Um, uh, as you yell at her, she's like, "You know what? I don't I don't even want to be here. I need to have better work life balance, and it's essential. And I'm going to leave." And she walks out the. room. And as she walk, drops the pin and walks out the room, the room changes back to how it was. Can I go dash oh. over and grab the pen and the parchment? Mm-hmm. That's quite the dash from... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Well, the room's not that big anymore. I guess the room's... That, yeah. yeah, the room's... Yeah, it's not 100 feet anymore. That's what... That's what that was my plan. Well, it's a good thing East. that it's a good thing that we're friends, Bird Person, because I got this gift for you, and I bring it over to Bird Person, and I I put my hand on his shoulder and I smile a little bit, like looking over at Kerr because he was flirting with other people. I'm gonna investigate the room, pretend to not see my wife flirting with other men. Okay, give me an investigation <laughs> check. Sure. Um, as you investigate the room, you see nothing in the room. There's nothing in the room outside of the desk, but as you go over to the desk, you see that you ha it's a three-quarters empty bottle of scotch and a pack of cigarettes. Those are both mine. <laughs> <laughs> Ready and then you see, you see the you, then you see these uh, doors are back again. I'm going to write on the parchment the room shows its secrets and unlocks the doors. Uh, you write on it, nothing happens. Damn it. Well, I tried. Eight. Hey, we have three doors. Yeah, as you write it, you kind of figure that uh, it probably only works when she writes it. Some might say because she's the writer. I mean, maybe. Can we just steal the thing she works with? That woman's going to have a heart attack. We just, her, we just convince her to quit her job. Yeah. We technically just fired her. No, no I wanted to, but I don't, have any, I don't have any spells for fire. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going down that door? This is my vote. That was almost good enough for a psychic damage. <laughs> okay. So you're going down this door? Down to this door. Okay. Yeah. Except so for apparently Dan, who's over there. Hey, Dan can go his own way. He's just speaking. Um, as you you step into this room, it looks like a little pantry. Why a pantry? Because Ooh. monsters need to eat. Believe it or not, the creatures that dwell in this dungeon exist even when you chumps aren't parading around through their shit. This room reeks of vinegar. The shelves line walls on either side of you, and they can contain oversized pickle jars, which probably accounts for the stink. Most of the jars are filled just to the brim, but a dozen still contain enormous pickles nearly two feet long. The jars are wider than the shelves, so they stick out a little bit over the edge, and also there's a 10-foot ladder Block in the middle of the pantry, leaning against the uh, the upper shelf. I try to get my hands on a pickle as quickly as possible. <laughs> um, you do. Did you say you eat Birdman does too? <laughs> no, I said I bet he does. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, um, give. Oh my God! It didn't expect any of you to touch it. What do I want? <laughs> How did you not Yay, expect Yeah, I broke her. <laughs> um, give. Um. Yes. What do give, you want? Give me a dex check. Okay. We will keep letting him make decisions on where we're going. <laughs> you gotta it's do it. Just walk to a door and you follow right along. You do I the know. shit show that comes next. This family is very dysfunctional. 
Um, it you sure is, baby. You try to grab one of the jars and actually end up jostling the jar and knock it over. Um, and as you knock it over, it smashes to the ground, shatters into a thousand vinegar soap pieces, and releases. Um, can you move back as where so you can see him? I met Kerr. Oh. You. Re- <laughs> 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 you, did I um, Rex? <laughs> you um why did you touch the jar? Um you What the fuck? <laughs> you you release <laughs> a pickle. Um roll initiative, you weirdo. <laughs> I'm assuming Anybody? Always, yes. Yeah, so that I can see if you guys are helping weird pickle man this. Not twenty. Let me write this down. Um, <laughs> I was like, no one will touch the jars. This would be an empty room immediately. Was going to. Um, Why would you not I... judge? Who walks into a jar, a, a room full of giant pickle jars, and doesn't want to touch a pickle? <laughs> I don't know. Pe- 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 Is that people... really just me? <laughs> Normal people. I mean, I could, I could have saw if. if one of the people who have never seen Rick and Morty was like, oh, I'll touch the pickle jar. But not the people who have seen Rick and Morty. I didn't think either that's of you why would he, it. That's why he did it. <laughs> oh, oh fuck yeah. I got yeah. Skittles in a candy cane. I pointed uh, out to those earlier. Report. I didn't know the Skittles were up there. I've been eating Hershey Kisses. Mm. So Keith, back in the other room is first. You don't particularly <laughs> see it because everyone's blocking your path. You do hear a, something that sounds like something breaking. Wait, how is did is Keith in front of me? Keith is in still in another room I'm with Dan. Same, yeah, I'm still in the room. <laughs> <laughs> trying to figure out why you guys go that way and not a different way. Because they followed me. <laughs> are you are you hearing like a crashing uh crashing? I wanted down, to see the pickles. <laughs> hey, I you know look at the pickles. It's, it, I'm telling you, nice. I wasn't the only oh. one that was going to look at these pickles. <laughs> Might have been for a different reason for her, but... I thought I you would look at the mean. pickles first. You're just like, no, immediately, let me touch these jars. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> I'm going to squeak over here and yell down the little hallway, asking, what the fuck is going on? Does anybody respond to him? <laughs> Your father has no impulse control. We're fine. Come on down. Your father has no impulse control. <laughs> I don't know if I believe that, but I'm coming. Summer screwed it up again. Make it make make a DC fifty. Uh, make a a, a dex check. Who? Uh, Keith. He just walked in a room. Keith. Oh. Dex. I almost just picked up one of my dice thinking it was a Skittle. Um, are you are you gonna roll? It's a, um, thank you. Oh also, um I can see what you need to add if it's if it's not the same uh a deck save, not a deck check. So inside Which the where it says saving where it says saving throws, that box, roll that deck, the plus four. Oh whoops. Did that wrong earlier? Oh did oh, no yours is okay. deck save. Oh, saving okay. throws, okay. Um. Okay. This is gonna get crap. Um. You try to come into the room, and you not you bump a uh, another jar. Oh no! Uh, hold on. Uh. That fails by more than five. Yep. You um smash another one to the ground. Had to check if you actually smashed it. But now another one pops out. Fucking summer. The fuck did I do? <laughs> they all said you fucked up, so I'm blaming this fuck up on you too. Can now anyone in the party convince these people to work with us? 
I feel like a couple of pickle ricks on our side. We'd be golden. I can try to intimidate them into siding with us. Sure, let's do it. Is is that um all you want to do, Keith? Um, yes. Okay, Lion, it's your turn. All right. Um, I wanna I wanna intimidate the pickle Rick that's closest to me to okay. join forces and um turn against his friend. Give me a, a intimidation check. Um, I have sixteen plus three. 19. Uh, you said this one? Yeah. He does a very weird laugh, but then turns and looks at this pickery. Yeah. I don't know if it, that was good. I mean, it, it is it, what you can see, it looks good. Kerr, it's your turn. Um, where's my intimidation? Uh, should be middle of your skill. Yes. Yeah. Um. While, how did you indicate which one you were talking? Ah, uh, the bottom yeah. left pickle, Rick. This one. Yep. While he's distracted, looking at the other one because the other one's looking at him like he wants to attack him. I'm gonna try to pit pocket him. Okay. So give me a sleight of hand check. Uh, you try to reach in his pocket. Um, you don't do a good job. He totally feels you doing it, but also you realize there's nothing in his pocket because he's a dang old. Pickle. Oh, you touched his pickle. Does he hate me? Woo <laughs> woo. <laughs> he doesn't hit you. It's bird person. Sorry. I'm gonna open the door right next to me. Oh, God. No, I got a plan. Uh... <laughs> Relax, I got a plan. Okay. I'm going to open the door and then look at the Pickle Ricks and say, uh, pers uh, try persuasion to <laughs> go, Pickle Ricks, wreak havoc amongst the monsters in the other rooms. Uh, Give me a persuasion check. Um, You see that both them, like, Sneer, this one kind of still wants to attack this one, but this one goes and looks like he's going to make his way to the door. All right. Uh, it is Ari's turn. We just did the these are the droids you're looking for scene. <laughs> They're not intelligent. <laughs> Clearly. Uh, so I'm going to try and persuade the bottom one to go in through the hallway to see if the other one will follow him <coughs> so so they can fight there so i keep failing this one's persuasion but i'm gonna do it anyway oh it no. wasn't a one no he now now you really know he's gonna move actually it's his turn now and he's actually going and this one follows him. Yes. So they're both in this hallway now. Um, are you going to try to move out the room? It's now top of the order, so it's back up. The are you going to stay in this room with all these other jars? Hell no. Actually, I'm going to make them dash. You can't see. Them. How many they're more like jars are in the room? Um, it's filled with jars. There's I so think many we jars. should leave before he drops another one. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> Very interesting. Uh, I think we should go back to the room before and try another door for now. And so if we can the... lock him inside in, the, in this room and he can keep all the pickles, that's fine. Keith, are you leaving the room? <coughs> yes, I'm leaving. Give me a dex check. Oh. Just normal or? Yeah. Well. Oh no. Uh, 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 <laughs> hold on. When I say, I'm sorry. Uh, the normal deck save. I thought you were asking, do you have advantage? The save, not the. Uh, the deck uh, save. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. 
Works for me. Oh, thank God. Uh, you make it out. You don't knock over a jar. All right, let's go. You kind of, like, deep. crawl out, like, army crawl out. Perfect. Uh, Lyanne, it's your turn. Leanne. Um, I don't want to go into the room, because I don't want to, I don't want to. You're already in the room. I'm in the hallway. All in... What do you mean? All are you in the room? Papers. Back here. Okay. No, fine. I see where she is. I'm, I'm just letting her know there's pictures. Um, okay, well then I guess I'm gonna follow Keith. Okay, give me a deck save. I don't want to. I, I said I didn't want to do that. <laughs> you can do it, it's fine. Um, you make it out, but um, um they have to deal with a pickle in the place of where you just left. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't have to deal with it, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it's no longer our problem. <laughs> so it's a pickle again. Um, <laughs> Kerr, it's your turn. Yeah. So I'm going to also look at leaving the room, but on my way out, I'm just going to like drag my hand across a couple of the jars. <laughs> so you're trying to knock them down. I'm not trying to knock them down. I'm just making sure that everybody else knows that I could if I wanted to. Give me a dex save. Okay. That's the top one you said? Mm, uh, the one that's in, it's, it should be a box that says saves. Saving all them, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> you make it out, but also you knock over another jar. <laughs> Come on. But I made it out. <laughs> what do you mean? Come on. So now, so now, it's, it's, now it's two pickles again after the other ones left. Um, and uh, it is third person's turn. I want to leave the room. Uh, give me a dex check. Dex save. Uh-oh. Docs over the rest of the pickles. It's another pickle. You can make it out, though. Or summer. <laughs> uh, where did you start, Morty? 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 30. Uh, 5, 5, 10, 15, 30. Where's Jerry? Uh, he was here 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, uh, 20, 30, okay. Right. So, Summer, or, or, uh, Ari, you're left, um. I guess I am following those dumbasses and trying not to get <laughs> caught up in between the stupid pickles. Can I, can I make a suggestion for you since they left you with three pickles? Mm-hmm. Do you want to disengage and just walk through this dang on? You know what? Yeah, sure. Let's do that. <laughs> okay. Everybody <laughs> else is like, oh, let me navigate. <laughs> Should have navigated the room. So do you want to? I, don't have do you want to? You guys. Do you want to? Do you want to? As an item action, as you. <laughs> you cut out. Sorry. As an item interaction, as you leave the room, do you want to shut this door shut? Yes, please. You slam the door shut and close it, and you just hear them all slide. Um, they don't have the greatest of fingers. They cannot open it. They don't have a post. So that would be a problem Yay. when we go back. Yeah, I mean, you cannot go back that way. Okay. That's the hope. <laughs> <laughs> so you all are in the next room, and, um, that is actually where we're going to stop it for today.